weeks to die. Took a lot to get this rolling, nigga. Six million ways to get rich. <laughs> Everybody keeps telling me make a club record. You ain't trapping no more, stop making drug records You got a daughter about to come, stop making thug records I brought that money back fast, I had the plug flex Welcome to Harlem, El Barrio, that's the drug section Hit your bitch with my jeans on, ain't making love naked I got love for my loco, but I know cuz reckless I ain't gotta sleep in the projects, I did enough stressing My father was a rolling stone, but taught me one lesson Do your dirt by yourself, your friends be the ones telling I knew it broke my mother heart to know her son selling I had coke in my dresser Trifling as ever had a dream Biggie featured me on life after I be with my same niggas I don't really like rappers Niggas can't make a song for nothing But they nice actors Go and get a movie role No bagging up tuna rolls Raw shit I come from a block where you seen it But never saw shit I be at the juice bar on my wheat grass and bark shit My youngin just came from up north He wanna park shit Trying to teach him something about life And how we started Lower class poverty Homies from jail calling me Playing the number every day But never hit the lottery Liquor store on every corner, might as well get drunk I remember that free lunch, wasn't shooting, we would jump stuff Niggas like the end of the blunt Trap slowed up, I told Poppy I got him by the end of the month I was thinking about 550s with the cinnamon guts He shot to blow your mind away, now your memory dust In memory of, I got a JF Kennedy buzz Presidential call, enterprise, I need another rental Trying to take a package down to North Carolina Maybe buy some Ferragamo, I'm so focused on the commas if you never been broke, it's gonna be hard it's to feel me. Only a log in my vote, it's gonna be hard. You heard it from the people himself, you heard it? You heard it from the people himself. Yo, what the deal, YouTube? No doubt indeed, man. It's your boy, man. Bronx Gander Stand Black, man. Salute. Welcome to Black Gander Stand TV, man. Because I know you niggas could have been anywhere else in the hood, niggas. But you with me, niggas. And that's what's up, right? So check this out, man. I had a real... I had a real, you know what I'm saying? One-on-one -on -one with a cat that subscribed to me, my niggas. And it, was, it wasn't really a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not going to amp it, but he hit me up on the backdrop. He was like, yo, Black, man. You be keeping it 100 with the uptown shit. Let me know, in your opinion, in your words, my niggas, did Jim Jones play himself and leave Stack biggity bundles And first of all Sleep in peace Stack bundles You know what I'm saying Did he leave him in the hood Did he leave him for dead My niggas Or do I think that You know It wasn't much he could do With You know what I'm saying Like he Played all his hands And that was just fate My niggas You're dead And I thought about that shit Because I could have been Did a story on this I could have been Did my opinion on it you know what I'm saying? I could have been did my opinion on it. And I didn't want to do my opinion on it. You know what I mean? Because I felt like... I felt like I didn't want to do my, 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 my opinion on it. Because I felt like it was deep. It was a touchy situation, no homo. And I just didn't feel like crossing that path, my niggas. Right? But then I said, you know what? Maybe it's fate, my niggas. Because when he brought that up to me, I said, well, maybe it's fate. Because I just was thinking about it. You dig? And then boom, he came with the question, my niggas. He came with the question, my niggas. So then I said, you know what? Maybe I should talk about it. Maybe that's the essence telling me to talk about it. So here it is, niggas. I gotta say, yeah, he left him for dead, my niggas. I gotta say, you know what? I'm not even gonna go into the point where I'm gonna say he left him for dead. But I will say to me, he could have probably did a little more than he did, my niggas. Right? But then I seen a lot of people, because I did my homework on it. Because one thing about me, Biggie D. Blizzak, I'm not going to talk without the figure D. Fizzax. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing none of that. I don't just come on here yapping like a lot of you niggas. Come on here just yapping for ratings, for views, whatever the freak you, whatever you, you know what I'm saying? Whatever your, whatever your vision is for. 
put my money on the long shots, man. You understand what I'm saying? So when I did my homework, a lot of brothers vouched. Matter of fact, a lot of brothers that was cool with him and Jimmy said that Jimmy left him for dead. A lot of rumors was Jimmy even was type hating on the brother. Now the thing, I, the thing is with this, I reps uptown. Niggas know I does, I does. I, 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 I'm a Bronx Gangstanian type of nigga. I wear the Bronx on my back every time I come on this shit. It's just me for Dolly waving my Bronx flag. You niggas know that. Sprinkle with Harlem World, sprinkle with Double Up, sprinkle with the Dub, sprinkle with the World, whatever you trying to call about it. It is what it is, right? So the bottom line is this, man. Jimmy always had swag. It was uh, His swag was alright uh, once the deal came in. Once the deal came in. Because before the deal, like most of you niggas, when niggas was regular and just, you know what I mean, niggas... Niggas wasn't really that valid in the gear department in the Niggas wasn't really valid and Jimmy made no he was no exception my niggas wasn't really that valid right I did type C stack bundles on that Harley on the on the on the on the, on the rock and roll looking shit back when they was wearing the um the Harley what's that Harley shit I, I forgot that shit man you niggas fill in the blanks man jump in the comment section all that shit Cause I wasn't That shit ain't my cup of tea Right But I used to see niggas Rocking that shit The hearty The hearty The hearty some shit You niggas put Fill the blanks my niggas You niggas know what I'm going When I'm going at with it Right The hearty joints The um The uh The The, the, the BB Simon belts And all that Yeah you niggas know What it is with this head First that's the younger shit I don't really Jack none of that Right that's just not my cup of tea to walk around looking like a rock star. That ain't my shit. But I don't knock niggas that get into that type of avenue. Get in that lane. Get in that avenue. That's your express bus. Jump on it, nigga. You dig? But the bottom line is this. Back in the subject in hand, man. Do I think that he could... I think he stole this. I think he stole a little of his swag. And I think he stole a little of Max B swag. That's just the way I see Ain't no thing. <laughs> Yo, salute to the chat, man. It ain't no think. You dig? That nigga definitely stole and, and, and mixed them shits together. Like, that nigga put even Mel Matrix, yo. You know what I'm saying? He stole Mel Matrix um, hood swag, if you want to say. You feel me? So I, don't, I don't know. Somebody so he, somebody knew I just subscribed to him. That's like the second video I've seen him get. I don't know though, man. You know I don't be keeping up with this YouTube shit, man. But yeah, he definitely, yeah, with my brother in the building, Mac in the building, man. Salute to Mac. But yeah, he definitely stole some of Mel Matrix swag, like hood swag, as far as like the blood shit and all that. You know what I'm saying? And you see, he had Max the hooks. You know what I'm saying? Stack had the bars, the 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 the, the look, the swag, the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like he owed the biggest board in the. You know what I'm saying? Not getting him out of these situations. You know what I'm saying? Max B should have never been in that situation where he was going to commit a, a robbery. You feel me? Like, for, for that little bit of bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, he should have been taken care of. Jimmy wasn't paying niggas, man. Like, the, thing, the, the, the shit that Cam did for, J, for Jimmy and, and Jewels and Hellrail, J.R. Ryder, everybody, everybody that was connected with Cam, everybody came out with an album, yo. I'm fucking JL Ryder. Even Freaky Ziki, like everybody came out with an album. Max was, I mean, Jim wasn't doing that for his artists. You know what I'm saying? Who came out under Jim Jones, bro? Bird Gang dropped one album. That shit sold like 16,000 or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody came out with an album, bro. <clears throat> Jim still stealing from niggas, man. What's the what's the what's the uh the other cat from Far Rockaway? He got he got another nigga from Far Rockaway. I can't think of nigga name, man. He that's what he do is steal niggas, steal from niggas, man. What the fuck? You can. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Yo. What up, Jesus? Yo. Yeah, we, 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 on. Same shit. Same shit. Cut the shit. Wait, bro. I'm tired of shit today, bro. Work was no yeah. joke today, bro. 
Niggas got their bread out of me today, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I ain't playing with you. You took a week off. You want to lay up. You want to lay up in the fucking hospital. They, they want all that back. My boss told me tomorrow I can chill. I ain't doing shit tomorrow. They want all that shit back. That's my the last two days. I'm telling you, I'm on chill mode tomorrow. Man. That's how like our job is. It's like, it really, it really be like three people really only, you know what I'm saying? Like really be busting their ass every day. But we just be taking turns, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all gonna do it. Y'all, I got today. Y'all got you. Know what I'm saying, yeah, we doing shit like that. Map, stop it, y'all. You know, you know, you I gotta you say something, bro. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, man. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm here helping all that. You good? Yeah, man. We getting back in the loop. Hey, hey, listen to this, right? Let me tell you something about what you're saying. Um, but okay, when 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 the niggas first started running around with the vampire life shit, right? And I might talk about this now, hood, that you open the door back up, right? But let me just say something. At that time, you know what I'm saying? Um, you got you got uh I'm doing like fashion shows and shit like that. Now, even though the vampire life shit was a was a was a was a movement, that's what I start I started the vampire life shit. Cause it seemed like it was weird. This before niggas start. I'm, I'm rock. I'm working at Def Jam, so I'm around everybody. You know, I'm around Dipset. I'm around Irving them. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not really rocking with the Dipset niggas like that. They just, you know, like when we go, like when we go on trips or whatever. I'm part of the street team, promo team. You know what I'm saying? And Def Jam. So I'm getting me some boxes. I'm getting a check. You feel me? And I'm, I'm just following the tours and shit like that, just promoting, right? But when, whenever I went to promote some i'm bringing 10 niggas with me screaming vampire life vampire life you know what i'm saying slowly but surely with aqua the glock now you remember around this time when when, when the, um, and me and you spoke about this hood when jolie first started when she first took over max b and them you know what i'm saying they didn't right. have nowhere to go so so they didn't have computers they didn't have none of that shit so they start coming to my studio uptown i got niggas they laptops you know what i'm saying like french will tell you this itself them niggas ain't know how to get MacBooks and all that. And you already know what I, I was I was tearing shit up uptown. So I had a bunch of them shits just sitting around. So I taught them niggas how to use them shits. I taught them how to because at that time, MacBooks was so, so different. You the nigga that got Max's shit all set up at the at the apartment when he had like the two apartments in the in one building? No, the um Al Pac and my man Mel did that. I used to be over there. I helped them too, because I had a rap music too. So a rap <laughs> A-Rab, the apartment that we first had was the spot where Yemen Cheese was at. Because I was going up with, with me and Yemen Cheese is, is off of 149. But we had the, the studio on 150th. So 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 A-Rab, A between um, A Rab music showed them, you know what I'm saying, some stuff. I showed them some stuff, but Mel and 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 um Al Pac set it up because that was an Al Pac's spot. You feel me? Now, this is at the time where, where the house is up. You know what I mean? Like the house ain't there no more because Jolie put it up for, for Max Bell. You know what I'm saying? And they was mad at what Max B told me personally. He said that the, the reason why he was mad at, at Jimmy is because his bell was like, I think almost like two million dollars. And Jimmy came out and said, I'm only putting up. He said, I'm only put up 60 bands. You feel me? He didn't That's put it. up that 60 band. Max, Max sold his publishing for that shit. Listen, he sold his publishing and got the rest of the money from Jolie. Remember, Jolie was fucking all of us, bro. She was Jolie. You know what I mean? No, no disrespect. Shout out to but, Jolie, man. Shout out to Jolie. But Jolie, when Jolie seen me, Jolie was like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? My pussy, my pussy tastes like water. I said, I'll never know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, then they was moving and grooving. But the point I want to make is this, right? Me being around them niggas, being that Def Jam and all that. Yim and Cheese, one day, um, um, DJ Lazy K had did a, uh, 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 I did a mixtape called Married to the Mob, right? Go look it up. Married yeah, to the Mob was Vito Rich, was Yemen Cheese. Yemen Cheese put it out with, with um, Vito Rich, um, um, my boy Ry Easy. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, um, a couple of niggas from the hood, right? But then these two niggas get locked up for, for a, 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 a home invasion kidnapping charge. So they out, they off the map. You know what I'm saying? During that time, right? Um, um, they was doing shows and shit like that. And Lazy K, we used to have to go all the way to Jersey to go pick up the, the mixtapes from Lazy K. Ock with the Glock um, 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 got ran over by a car. So his whole leg and all that shit was messed up and he couldn't drive. 
This is when he had the X5 um, BMW. I, I'm driving these niggas everywhere. I go to Lazy K House, go get the tapes and all that shit. Now, when I went over there to get the tapes from, I had a, a 500 shirts that said Vampire Life on it that I left in Ock with the Glock truck. So one day, Ock is running around with Buster. You know what I'm saying? Doing whoop, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm Jimmy and I'm called the nigga, you know what I'm saying? To go to the video shoot. Ock just, just um, drops Buster off and goes right to the video shoot. Now, Yemen Chief will tell you the same shit, right? Now, the kid, there's a kid named Smitty, All City Smitty. He did the first video that they ever did some vampire shit, right? And they all had black and red vampire-like shirts on. Those were my shirts. They didn't have nothing to wear. And they wasn't looking uniform enough. So I start passing them shirts out. Two weeks later, niggas hit my line. Hey, yo. Yo, salute, Mac. I know you fucking with this nigga, Jim Jones. I was like, what the fuck you talking about, Jim Jones? I'm like, I got Max B in my studio every day. I'm running around French and these niggas. Them niggas hate that nigga. Fuck what I be messing with that nigga for. You know what I'm saying? He's like, nah, because he was shouting you out, vampire life, on the radio. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, nigga going to steal my shit. Yo, like maybe two weeks later, we had a show at Jacob Javis Center. Now, I do designer boots. I design boots. Any of them boots that you ever seen the Dipset niggas rock with rhinestones on it and all that shit, those are my boots. You know what I'm saying? I had a contract with Jewels and his mother. Hold up for one second. I, I remember Cam rocking them Bird Gang boots and shit. Bro, these shits right here. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I hand designed these boots. You know what I'm saying? I had a fucking um. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Now you should have so, I remember everybody wearing them shoes. Yeah, and they was the only way you could get them is at Santana's town. You know what I'm saying? On them boots, I was putting vampire life and shit. And this is, every every week I'm coming back. I'm like, why all the size elevens are gone? You know what I'm saying? And they ain't buying no eights. And they, you know what I'm saying? I wanted all of them to sell. That was Jimmy and them buying the motherfucking boots, slowly but surely stealing the shit. You know what I'm saying? So when I found out, the nigga went to the lawyer and and really tried to fucking um 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 legitimize this shit, hood. Huh? I'm like, yo, wait, wait, wait. How the fuck you gonna steal my Without shit, my nigga? You on and nothing to steal your shit? No, because look, at that time, you gotta think, I'm fucking with Max B heavy. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't no secret because Max B ain't have a studio. So there was only two places he could go. That was me. No, three, um, two places. He was really rocking with Bigger. You know what I'm saying? Bigger Threat and, and Al Pac. But Bigger Threat didn't have a studio. Bigger Threat and them used to come to my crib and set up shit. And so I opened up the other spot on 150 for Ock and them. And that's where everybody used to link up at. The reason why I did it that way is because I didn't want everybody coming to my crib. Even though I had a three-bedroom in Harlem. You know what I'm saying? A big ass spot that would then the studio was separate from the regular the rest of the crib. Um, um, I didn't want everybody up in my crib, so we set up another spot. I'm telling you, that's how they start. But it, it's no secret though that I'm in I'm in Def Jam and I'm watching Hove still young Chris whole style. They was getting rid of everybody and 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 you know what I'm saying, and keeping Chris fed so Jay-Z could restructure his style because he was falling off. Niggas, you know that at the end of the day, my nigga. When you get that much money, you start falling away from the streets. And even though niggas think you the guard MC, yo, bro, you the guard MC when you're in a struggle. You know what I mean? When you come out, you're not no more. Same thing with Lil Wayne. They sent they sent Gilly to live down there with them for two years on a stipend and a per diem rate. You know what so, so shit, facts, yo. But for two hundred and fifty dollars a day, you know what I'm saying? So that means every ten days he was getting twenty five hundred. That means that he was getting seventy five hundred a month. For being down there for them to remodel Lil Wayne. That's where you get the Carter series from. I'm telling you, this is systematic. Like um um um, um Jimmy not only stole I oh, but let's go back. Let's go squad. Let's go to squad. Let's oh man, my I just had goosebumps come on my just talking about stats. You wanna know why? Because damn, look at my arm, bro. I don't know if y'all can see that. My 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 skin is standing up. The people in the home gonna see that shit on the screen. I'm gonna tell you. Because Stacks Bundle is the key. You got to understand this. Stacks, not chinks, not nobody else. Stacks Bundle, you know what I'm saying, is the key. You feel me? And there's a song that I wanted you to hear too, Hood. I'm pretty sure you know about it. It's, um, they play it on my radio every day on, on Ghostface um, Station. I, f I forgot the name of it. But Stacks was talking about how how people are modeling slowly modeling themselves around him and not trying to put him on, bro. That's the kicker. The thing with Jimmy was this: 
got to remember, if you the capo, that means that you're not the, the regular boss. The reason why, the reason why everything, let me get back to the contestant of the vampire, like before we go any, I'm, I'm, and I'm going I'm to end it with this. When, when I contested vampire life, right? I spoke to Dame and I spoke to, and I spoke to, um, Bobby, Bobby Dash. Me and Bobby Dash actually, that, that Bobby Dash is Dame Dash's brother. He the one that really was running Rockefeller when 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 Dame wasn't around because Hov was never in the building. It was Lenny S and Bobby Bobby Dash and Beans really running that whole Rockefeller situation. You know what I'm saying? I go down, to, I go down to Texas with Bobby Dash. Me and Bobby Dash go bust a move at um and um and San Antonio. You know what I'm saying? Uh um. And I'm telling him about Jimmy Stealing because they he didn't know. Dame already knew because me and Dame got the same lawyer. And my my case, uh, um, I had a case I was fighting like a, a custody case with my baby moms. So the the the, the uh, mediator in my case only came to court once a month. You know what I'm saying? So Dame and me was always going to court together the same day. So I've been letting Dame know as soon as it start launching off in 2012. I let Dame know. And then after that, me and Bobby Dash been rocking with each other. So I put, they already knew, but guess what? They wasn't fucking with Jimmy. Jimmy was $700,000 in the hole with the textile company because I contested the vampire life. So they shut the, the market and they shut everything down. So now you're stuck with all this fabric that you can't sell. Because as soon as I shit go back up in the stores, I'm I'm going I'm to rape the whole motherfucking entire thing. Nigga. And, and what's so wild is, I, even with all that smoke these niggas had, I would have been willing to be a silent partner and get some money with these niggas and show them how to really rock it. So I shut that vampire life shit down. That shit ain't been alive since 2012. And I started Daywalker life. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, them niggas always steal. It's common ground for them niggas to just steal and act like they don't know you from a whole new world, bro. Receipts don't lie, though. That's the one thing. You know what I'm saying? The receipts don't lie. And Ching's drugs um, cousin... Um, um, was right there with me the whole time. Um, 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 money, um, um, Mills, money, Mills from uptown. You know what I'm saying? And that nigga, you know, he the biggest, he the staunchest one. Um, um, as far as like keeping Chink's drugs alive, because that was his cousin. You know what I'm saying? But we always fucking with each other, the Coke boys. You know what I'm saying? You know, GG and all of them. Like we always rocking with each other, and we was the new niggas coming up. You know what I'm saying? And and basically, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers start hating. Just like you said, that that bird gang shit. Only did yo, bro. You had Chink Santana on there. You had that nigga from Baltimore. Um, um, what was that nigga name? The big diesel nigga from Baltimore. I know you talk about uh the fake Jay Z nigga. And the fake Jay Z nigga. And the weed, right? And the weed. Yo, the first Sin time City. I ever heard that nigga, I heard him on Jim Jones mixtape. Um. I forget the name. I forget the name of that shit. Hey, yo, look, yo it, son, I thought it was Hove. Yeah, I thought it was Hove too. <laughs> but he's trying to. He's trying too hard. But he's he, trying. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying too hard. Hey, he's yo, trying. and then Chink, Chink Santana, little bitch ass. When he that found nigga's out, a dope head. That nigga's yo. a dope head. That nigga's on Love and Hip Hop High. That's why he got kicked off Love and Hip Hop. He was yeah, a yeah. Yo, yeah. I, 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 I snapped. When he went Murder Inc. at one point. He was all around the building. Listen, he was with yeah. Look, he was with he was with um, um double impact. He was with um 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 bloodline, which is DMX in them. You know what I'm saying? He was all around the building. Remember, Def Jam three floors. And he them all niggas was up there for a long time. Yo, but look, what I heard about him and he a little faggoty because that's who Joe Lee was fucking with when I bagged him. She was fucking with that nigga, and that nigga was hating on me every day. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Everybody fucked Joe. Pussy ass. Jolie was, was my manager at one point, y'all. You know, she I stole, love, she I love stole, Jolie, she man. She she Max cheap. from Max, bro. Listen, she, she elevated all of us in some kind of way. I think that she was real naive during that time. Plus, they was popping a lot of pills during that time. You got to remember, some niggas got caught up in it. You know what I mean? Some niggas came in, and then they got up out of there. But a lot of those niggas got caught up in that pill wave. You know what I'm saying? And fucked them up. I can't wait to Max B come home, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, but hopefully they said that Max is going to be rocking with um Wiz Khalifa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Bruh. I heard that too, but it's the thing, it's the thing about that. Alpac is fucking with that nigga. And Max and Alpac ain't good right now. Yeah, it's yeah. But I think that a lot of those songs, the the Alpac joints was older joints, you know what I'm saying? And um they also talking about him fucking with Drake. So Drake has just got his eye on, 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 on Max B too. So 
that might work out. And then Al Pop, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, I don't know what happened with him and Al Pop, but Al Pop was always just a nigga that was trying to get on. He wasn't really a, a nigga I that a was song, like... I got a song with Al Pop. Yeah. Al Pop, that's where we used to go at when when, it, when he had no place else to um, record. Niggas start going to Al Pop house. Me and me and um Mel was doing a lot of beats. Me, Mel, and Nitro, like that, that, that um that um we be on our shit. Nitro made that. You know what I'm saying? I was there when Nitro made that joint. A lot of the other joints, Mel made it. That's my shit too, son. And you know what I'm saying? Dan Grease wasn't doing a lot of a lot of a lot of um. Beats for Max B, you know what I'm saying? Yo, the name of that mixtape, City City of God, that Jim Jones mixtape, that that Noe nigga was on. The first time I heard that nigga, this shit just came to my mind. City City of God. Yeah, I remember that. You know what I'm saying? I I, I ain't like I, he wasn't that bad. I think that if they didn't have so much politics, and if Jimmy would have selected like a whole brand new team, you bro, you got niggas that got bad bad reputation already, like Sin City and all the rest of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like. There's already a lot of smut involved. If he would have got brand new people and, and worked that out, it would have did its thing. But Cam wasn't going to allow that to really do much anyway. You know what I'm saying? Low key between me and y'all. Cam and Max, Cam and Max talking about doing an album together, man. That's going to win. That's going to win. That's going to win. Because Cam always been a man. You got to understand. Cam, Cam put these niggas on. You know what I'm saying? Like Cam put them on. I, listen, I booked Cam. Niggas brought book. Max to Cam first, and Cam didn't believe in him because he because it's his man. He was like, nah, he ain't see it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't see it. Cam is a good nigga, man. Like I said, man, I, I had a, a few shows at, um, when I was promoting parties in New York, like Amazora and all that. You know what I'm saying? I booked Cam for a couple of days. Cam got more than 100 bands fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? So salute to him. And I made a lot of money off with you and Cam at my shows. Yeah, I saw a fuck with Fleet, man. So I made a hundred, like, like, like a quarter million dollars off of one party fucking with Cam. And I literally gave Cam five bands. You know what I'm saying? I gave him an extra five bands once to do, like halfway through the, before he even got inside the club. You know what I'm saying? I had about a hundred bands because I also had Black Rob, God Bless the Dead book. I had, I had, um, ASAP Rocky book. This one, ASAP just first came out the door when he was taking $2,000. I had French. The, the 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 uh the Jamaican the um Movado. <clears throat> I put Millie's on because Millie's remember I was I was managing Millie's at that time so I got Millie's put on on that shit too white boy Millie white boy yeah the white boy yeah I got mad songs with him too myself you know what I mean but I managed Millie's for about five six years I bought Millie's to New York you know what I'm saying because Millie's from Boston bro I bought him to the Bronx. Camp, you know Cam and Max do that I, shit. You know what's so crazy about Millie's? Millie's, even though niggas is just starting to learn about Millie's, I had Millie's with 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 uh, and videos with Jada and shit. Um, Millie's first song with Jada was in two thousand and 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 thirteen, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's eleven years ago. You know what I mean? Millie's was been rocking with like we the little C's and all them niggas from the Brooklyn niggas. Millie's over. Millie's been on for a while. It just took them a while to get recognized. You know what I'm saying? Right. Got some interviews on my channel with uh, Millie's man explaining how he got to New York. They start was capping. I'm like, how the fuck you damn capping? This nigga know how the fuck he know Max B. How the fuck he know French? How the fuck he know Yemen cheese and all them niggas? This niggas from Cambridge, um, Massachusetts. He met a lot of those niggas. You know what I'm saying? The rest of the niggas ain't me Al now. Park. That nigga Al Park stole the record from me, man. Oh what? Wow. I did a song with this nigga. I sent this nigga like two beats. We did a song. I put it on my mixtape, bro. This nigga took the whole, took the whole beat, redid the song and everything, and and put it on his shit. Yeah, but Jake Santana though, that was a wild thing too because it, it's it's crazy that you knew about that that he fucked with his nose. He was having he was he, he was yeah. Having yeah. His girl Chrissy Monroe and my girl they best friends. Word. That's why he got kicked over loving hip hop. He was in the bathroom snorting. Dope. Yeah. And she worked. That's a fact. I got NOE, nigga, too, because they like that shit down mm -hmm. there. And be more like the dope. That's like weed up there. I don't know how that is, but like how we smoke bud, they run to the dope up, up yeah. there and be more. Word. Yeah, they, they definitely it's normal to me. Yeah. You know what? I want I want I want to do a live on that. Like I, I addressed the Jim Jones situation a little bit. 
But I was, you know, they was trying to get me to go up there on whack shit. And I'm like, damn, it just gets too messy up there. Whack my son, but I don't, you know what I mean? Them niggas caught up in too much messy it's shit. Hey, it's too much shit going on. Them niggas messy. I end up having to come to New York and violate. I go to Jersey and violate that nigga. Um, Jimmy, Jimmy scared of me too. I'm going to tell you why. Because Jimmy I don't know if y'all remember <laughs> an altercation that happened at Denny Moe's, you know what I'm saying? In Harlem <laughs> at the barbershop when the nigga got his chain ticket. It was all over the news. You know he got saying? knocked out. Yeah. Or some so, that's a fact. So if you listen to Hassan Campbell and Bullets Gotti, that when they say that Jim Jones shot me in my head and all that, that's what they talking about. They got the whole story mixed up. You know what I'm saying? After that, after that, that situation happened, you notice Jim went quiet for like four years. He ain't say nothing about no vampire life. You gotta never hear about that shit no more. You seen the nigga going around, running around with Jay-Z and Rock Nation and all this shit. My girl in the other room, she worked for Rock Nation. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of shit that was happening, I knew was happening. They even tried to put me on Love and Hip Hop with this bitch ass nigga, right? Send me the call sheet. I was already working with the company. You know what I mean? I worked in television for 10 years. So I had the call sheet. I knew where he was at and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? The producer hits me up. You know what I'm saying? The um, the uh, the um, the production manager hits me up and be like, yo, what do you think about being talent this time? I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, you know. Uh, we want to put you next to Jim Jones. I like, nigga, you put me next to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And he say the wrong thing or he lied in front of me is going to lead to something physical. So that's definitely not fucking with And I quit after that. After the second season of um, Love and Hip Hop, I stopped fucking with that shit completely. I, stopped, I just got out of TV and came out here and did yeah, my own You know own that thing. Love and Hip Hop shit, all that shit came because niggas wanted to give Stacks a show. Stack and Stack ended up dying. Rex, it's all. Jim, then Jim ended up doing the shit. Bagged ass nigga. Oh, yeah, that nigga Al Pac stole his song. It's a song called So in Love, bro. I can't fuck with a nigga once a nigga start wearing um um on um, purple blouses and shit. You know what I'm saying? Once that once 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 you once you start wearing purple blouse, you seen that video, right? With him the, with the blouse and all you know what I'm saying? Talking about he's sexy and all that. I'm good, man. Go be sexy. Who did that? Jim Jim smash his show was like a fiend, son. Nigga was walking around the floor. No, I'm talking about straight up, bro. Look, look oh, no, nah, he was wearing it straight up, but that's when he first wore it was at the fashion show. Word. <laughs> fashion week. He was talking oh. about his sexy and shit. Yeah, the nigga had a fishnet blouse on. Nigga, you like 50 years old. Relax. I said, yo, come on. He had his gray hair on it and all that. Yeah, the nigga looked crazy, son. The nigga looked crazy. I'm going to show you now. Yeah, I... I can't wait to eat on this Jim. See, Jim Jones plate going. It's, it, it's going to um. It's going to come when it's going to come. Check it out. Oh shit! Let me let me let me let me think. I saw Campbell um um. <laughs> hey yo, check it out, son. <laughs> These niggas weirdos anyway, man. Don't surprise me. This all. Scheme, holla at me, man. I got something you can smoke, bro. You know you ain't got no weed, man. Look. Look this nigga. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. You heard? Get it right. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Oh, he got his nails done and everything. Let's not play. This shit tight as fuck. Look. That nigga want to be mad at me so bad, bro. Nigga look like he got titties. Hey, listen, I I, got I, no I, way, bro. I don't think that I, I wanted to see um um call outs fight. So I've been trying to get call outs to fight um scheme. I don't think that you you want to fight scheme? Cause I'll get that, I'll get it hooked up, bro. Hell yeah, I want to fight scheme. Hell yeah, I'll beat the brakes on scheme. All right, all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? That might. You know, but because good job been working and you know what I'm saying? I don't know what he is to right now. If you want to get that scheme back, I, I'll throw it up in the air today, man. I'll call that South Dean, see what's up. It's a bag, it's a bag involved though, right? Yeah, you get a little bag and you get that. I'm getting a car okay, payment. Okay. I'm getting I'm getting a whole a, a brand new car payment, that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? If it work yeah, out. There's a bag, yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, no, no. It wasn't stacks, it wasn't stacks idea. Uh VH1 came to Stacks. This is when Stacks was with Jim. You know what I'm saying? VH1 came to came to Stacks with that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what got Jim like 
involved with the, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> there's a, there's a video with Jim's counting 100. Jim's, Jim's got it. Jim's really got 120,000, right? Let me ask Max you something. Sold publishing. Max sold his publishing for 120,000, right? When he was locked up and shit. Jim took 30, gave Max 90. That's that's that you know, that that's that video when Jim's counting when he's counting money he's like oh I'm going to get Max and all this shit he what he wasn't that he wasn't you think he was counting 1.5 on camera bro oh no oh no for one oh. niggas didn't even go bail Max out with with, with cash the niggas put up the buildings nigga <laughs> Joe Lee Brown <laughs> so you, don't like. You can't like Jim. Jim act like he went and bailed Max out with like 1.5, 2 million and all that shit. Jim, nah. All Jim did was take was take the one got the one twenty for fucking Max when he sold his publishing. Gave Max ninety, kept thirty for himself, bro. Don't, like, don't you know, you know like what I hated that about that shit? Out. That that nigga was acting like that was the cool shit to lay up. Nah, my nigga, what Max B, he know what it is, you know what I'm saying? Real niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, my nigga, if you ever get on the motherfucking TV and tell niggas I'm cool with sitting in jail while you niggas got a bag, I don't give a fuck if it's two million, nigga. You talking about you popping, go get another two million, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't classify that as an emergency, you know what I mean? Jim wasn't even coming to get Max with Max's own money, nigga. All right, wait, wait. Let me, let's go back a little bit, because I just looked at the title. So scheme scheme says something about uh, Al Campo. Hey, that bum ass nigga. Nigga, he's talking about oh he see China he gonna put uh he gonna put China with El Campo and all this shit. Yeah, all right, nigga. China 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 is booked to fight ten toes down, so that shit ain't gonna work. Well, they they gonna get it in. <laughs> they, they both signed the contract. They both signed the contract. Ooh. Yo, wow. you know, yo, you know I got my hands all in this shit, right? Wow. You know what I mean? Yo, give, like, me in there, give me in there with scheme, bro. Wow. I'm gonna talk, talk, talk about bro. something. I think it'll work out because I think it worked out because the only other fight that makes sense for scheme right now would be call outs. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else is like, you know what I mean? I'll be good. Scheme ain't they, coming up there, bro. They saying you, they saying you, ball sleep or call outs. That'd be the match. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when they, they said you, I automatically that, said no. I said bro, no, but I didn't want you fighting. Shit, that, that shit was four or five years ago. They was talking about doing that shit. They still ain't did that shit. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. This time is booked. The event is booked. You know what I'm saying? The, the, uh, the, um, the event site is up. You know what I'm saying? Everything is up. So, so. At the end of the day, somebody gonna fight. You know what I mean, somebody gonna fight. I mean, it's China and Ten Toes. Now they got me. They got me and Grand Corn. Me and Grand Corn is their highlight. The headlines. I thought Roski was fighting somebody. Nah, kick them off. Roski ain't fighting. We got everybody else off. <laughs> what happened to Roski? I thought Roski was going at it with uh, what's the white boy Velo? But it, but that Roski, you know, Roski, um. You know, I think they the fight was supposed to be Roski, um, Velo and and Artie, and they you know shit shit them jumped off. So I don't know what's going to happen with that shit. Artie already got beat up, didn't he? Well, um, <laughs> he fought. Nobody won. <laughs> nobody lost. Roski looked like he hit hard too. He was like, yo, yo, yo. Uh, uh, Artie was throwing back. He was like, oh, oh, ah. I said, this is crazy, man. You think this is bold. <laughs> you let Roski beat on you, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm keeping it real. I, the only thing I can say is that at least he, sh at least he showed the niggas pulled fight. up. The niggas pulled in the alley. I, I like that shit. I want that shit. The niggas in the alley getting it. Them niggas pulled up though. They was in there getting I'm a, it. Wow. I'm beat Grand Corn head in. That nigga think I'm out here. I'm out here working out every day, nigga. I got a washboard. I got, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm doing. It's trying to fuck a nigga up. Boom! Then I'm going to shoot him after that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's why Scheme really... That's why he really... 
Hey yo, listen. He want he want to be a blood so bad. I'm put him down like the dog. <laughs> he gonna be scared to get killed, bro. Faggot ass coming. niggas. Fuck these he niggas. And yo, he's supposed to come to New York for like the last two, three years. Like yo, I ain't gonna lie, hood. When they said when they had your name in it, I automatically said nope. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see you fight them niggas, man. Fuck that shit. I'd rather you be uh, promoting the shit with me. For bag of all, yeah, I want to beat on scheme, bro. That's the only way I'm be able to touch one of these niggas mm. without fucking the police being involved, bro. Might have the police in that motherfucker too. You know what I'm saying? The way these niggas rocking, them niggas might be fucking um 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 what they call that? Wired. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For real. <laughs> Let me get over this shit, man. I gotta get ready. I gotta get ready. To bust a move, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, Don't you know what I'm saying? That nigga, bro. But after the fight, I want, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna shoot this nigga, bro. I'll, t I'll tell him everything about except that part. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, squad up, my nigga. Salute, y'all. Yeah. Shout out to my brother Mac, man. That's my brother right there, man. Mac always been 100 with me, bro. You know how these niggas is flip flop niggas out here, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Mac. And I know he was really there. Like, he was, you know what I'm saying? We know, like, a lot of the same people and shit. <clears throat> Shout out to Mac, man. But yeah, Brandon, that nigga Alpac, man. <clears throat> this is what, this is when Max were, were, had first got locked up. <sighs> nigga took my shit, son. <clears throat> Smack that nigga if you catch him, bro. <laughs> yeah, Mac. <clears throat> Mac, I fuck with Mac, man. Mac mm -hmm. funny as shit. And he real, like, he, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah, if a bag is involved, I want to beat him. And I get the beat on scheme. I can get a bag and get the beat on one of you niggas. Shit. Shit. Yeah, no, I, I, I know. Get a bag and beat on. Son, what else is better than that? Man, listen, scheme ain't gonna do shit. All he gonna do is just waste waste his whole money on perks, bro. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he gonna do, bro. Yo, scheme, I promise you, yo, you not walking out of there, bro. <laughs> Unless you got like the police walking you in and out or some shit like that, like you're not just walking in and out. Shit. I promise you, my nigga, if you think that you're just going to walk in a venue and you're just going to walk out, yeah, all right, nigga. That I'm at? Yeah, okay. Y'all going to look like Peter Guns when Peter Guns fought that other nigga. <laughs> Them niggas look like crazy fighting. Like, nobody won that fight. Just... Oh, Peter, Peter Guns and Cisco? Yeah, Peter Guns and Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that fight looks two grown men looking crazy. Like, niggas are scared to get hit. Like, yo, that shit looked like crazy. Oh. Probably a love tap. <laughs> nah, and you wear the headgear? Yeah, I'm going in. You wear the headgear and shit like that? It's nothing to be scared of. Like, you can still get knocked <laughs> out, but... No headgear. I'm wearing headgear, nigga. I'm wearing the headgear. I'm wearing, I'm wearing the stomach shit, the headgear. Nah, I'm wearing headgear. I'm wearing headgear. I ain't ending up like Muhammad. <laughs> I want headgear. I want headgear. I'm not. I'm not no professional. Nah. I want headgear. <laughs> Yo, it's different. Yeah, them fights be different, son. When you get in, them shits be different. Yeah. You get out of breath quick. Shit be real. Even if you train, shit be real. We don't do this shit every day. I want headgear. <laughs> Fuck around, get knocked out. You don't even know. You like, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Exactly. Ten toes in China fighting. That's gonna be. That's gonna be a good. Ten toes one. gonna beat the brakes off. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, ten. Yeah, ten toes gonna put him to sleep. <laughs> ten toes <laughs> gonna beat the brakes off China, bro. Shit. That ass. Nigga, look like if he. China don't, if China, if China don't get knocked out, he'll earn mad respect for me, bro. Because there's no, there's no way I see China walking in there and not and not getting knocked out. Bro. <laughs> and if he doesn't get knocked out, he's at least hitting the hitting the mat, bro. Yeah, no ten way. got that old man strength. The older you get, the stronger. Ten got that old man strength, like that. Yeah, I already know. Oh hell yeah! And that nigga kind of retarded by the way he talked. Ten, yeah, ten, ten gonna go in. Shit. 
You gotta stab that nigga ten, then fight him. Like Son did on 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 what you call it. Mm-hmm. At the end of, at the end of Gladiators when he fought Son, he poked him, then he started fighting. Like only way. <laughs> you gotta poke that nigga and start fighting. When the fight is over, I'm shooting niggas, bro. Yeah. Not like um, hey trifling, tell your mother suck my dick, nigga. Right. <laughs> tell your mother. <laughs> well, <that was. laughs> <laughs> Tell your mother to get in line probably right after your grandmother and your aunties tell her to suck my dick, nigga. <laughs> Next. Bitch she ass nigga. Me. Your mother looked like she just got off her knees, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Fuck is you, nigga. nigga, that nigga is no that, is scheme, that's one of scheme fake accounts. I realize that. Shit. Is that, is that you, Scheme? <laughs> hey, Scheme. Is that you, bro? Right? <laughs> Shoot. Nigga, you fuck around, nigga. You went, yo. You don't even know who the fuck you talking. You don't even know. Like, yo, you think it's just crazy out here, man. Niggas is weird, man. It's crazy, oh, man. Hell oh, yeah. Bro. Niggas is weird is out that here. you scheme? <laughs> Damn, I thought Trife was the homie. Nope. Trife not the homie now. Not disrespecting my motherfucking brother, you ain't no homie, nigga. Shit, exactly. Yo, Trife, hit the fucking link, man. Stop typing like a bitch. Nika. Hit the motherfucking link. Stop typing like a bitch, nigga. Hit the motherfucking link. link. Bring your bitch ass up here, nigga. That you got all you you got <laughs> doing all this. Bring your ass up here, then, nigga. No, homie, this not scheme, bozo, old nigga. He Hit said, the link, it's... pussy. <laughs> Stop typing like a bitch, nigga. Gonna be you gonna be on some Meek Mill shit. Niggas can fuck around and kill one of you niggas, bro. Hit exactly. the fucking link, bro. <laughs> Meek Mill. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, me in a bad niggas, situation. Yeah. That nigga, that nigga stole his booty, Where son. <laughs> that nigga, me, nigga, fuck that nigga, yeah. fuck all that. Nigga, me sold his booty, my nigga. Niggas, for like real. I say, niggas, niggas should be talking about this for the next six months. <laughs> that's hey, no AI. Me. That's me getting. Yo, what's you, what's I see a nigga running around with matching outfits, bro? I'm I'm good, bro. I'm like I'm get get dumb, bro. <laughs> Niggas is running around with matching grown men. All you hear is like Diddy saying, like, you deserve it, daddy. (laughs) No. (laughs) When he's sitting in in, in the fucking pool, (laughs) that's it, just stop spinning. (laughs) Nigga like this. Man, the water blowing his ass. (laughs) <laughs> nigga, was fighting, nigga was fighting the fucking the fucking chlorine going in his ass. <laughs> and he's like this, yeah, dream chasers, we getting that. Shut the fuck up, me. Uh, yeah, right. You just blew your back out, literally. I th- and you I telling thought- him, get that ass, nigga. That's me. <laughs> I thought gangsters don't like go in the pools, bro. <laughs> that nigga needed it. And Nikki Ben said that two years ago. Nikki Ben was calling that nigga gay, but niggas oh. thought she was going crazy. Nah, she was dead ass. Yeah, Mika. Did he Ben Rainbow? Meek bouncing like a bunny. I was done with him. I seen that too. <laughs> nigga had him bouncing. Yeah. <laughs> nigga said, nigga said, do the bunny dance. <laughs> For billionaires. <laughs> but nah, that pool shot when Meek is in the pool. That's legendary, son. <laughs> I'm keeping that intro. That's gonna be my intro forever. That's legendary. Oh my god! Yo, if you bro, see me Mill with an ankle, silent, ankle leg brace, yo, that's, that's that's one of the fruities. <laughs> nah, cause I used to no no lie before this. Meek was my man. Like I I I, 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 oh I fuck with me. I fuck with me. Yo, y'all niggas is crazy, bro. I fuck with me, yo. God bless. Yeah. That's like somebody from the rock or something oh, doing some shit. I fuck with. I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be hurt. Like, yo, yo, yeah. this the Meek Mill I like right here. This the Meek Mill. No, don't no play shit. Nah, you no, can't do that. Nah, man. Playing, no, 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 no. What does the old head and the young boy have in common? Real shit. You want to answer? You want to answer? Anybody's live on the spit? I'm spent right now. Degrees.
with your jeans. That's what Meek was that nigga. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know the Meek Mill bouncing like a bunny, bro. Nah, he he was bouncing like a bunny rabbit, jeans. He was. I was oh, done. No, man. I was done. <laughs> nah, no more listening to Dream Chasers, bro. <laughs> Yo, bad as I want to. It's over. Crazy, bro. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna try to listen to no Meek Mill. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna oh, listen to a couple of the songs, but I can't. I can't. I can't do it. The only I one can't. song to listen to is "Respect the Game." That one song only. I ain't listening to nothing. Nah, I gotta be going through some shit to turn that on. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I gotta be going through something to listen to Meek Mills. Like I really got one of him, <laughs> but other than that, I ain't. Oh, me. I'll listen, listen to one of Hassan Campbell's rap. man's rap before I listen to Meek Mills. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How you feel about Rick Ross? If 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 that that's his man. How you feel about Ross? <laughs> Oh man, because Ross Bro, spoke yo. to Diddy too, right? Yeah, thanks. Listen, nah, everybody in the street, <laughs> everybody that's in the industry, that's something that that that's somebody. They did something strange, my nigga. They, they I'm telling everybody. you, the industry parties, the industry parties. That's what it is. They spike your Hennessy, they spike your shit, and you wake up someplace yeah. else. You don't know what happened. I'm yo before I got on the live with Hood, I was watching the um the Meek Mill and Diddy had the fair thing on Ross YouTube. Diddy had an EP or some shit like or something. And not uh, to change the subject, I was just watching this shit on Pimp C. Oh yeah, nigga yeah. Pimp C when they married the nigga that killed them. Oh yeah. And they covered that up, son. That's why you don't hear nothing. About, yo, that shit is deep, son. I'm I'm going down the rabbit hole watching this shit. Yo, Meek Mill, I mean, not me, but Pimp C was about to stop people from um doing a ministry yeah, party. He was the hardest out of Philly. Yo. That's, what about that's Cassidy? That's crazy. Who? Huh? What about Cassidy? What? Uh, I don't know about she, Cassidy. Though. She, she, she can Dini freak off. Cool. Oh, you talking about Cassidy? Nah, 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 nah. Cassidy, Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy. Cassidy pulled up on Meek Mill's block when they was beefing. <laughs> and Meek Mill did nothing? <laughs> he wasn't even out there. Damn. <laughs> nah, Cass got it. Said, Did he ran a train? That nigga's a Cass shit. got it. <laughs> Cassidy wasn't no street dude. Someone shot said. <laughs> you said Cassidy wasn't a street nigga? Yeah, that's what Philly shot said. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he probably know more because he out there. Oh yeah. <coughs> but that nigga know. portrayed that shit. Nigga portrayed that shit real good. That's what you got to do at one point, though. Yeah, he was though. He he had my blood pressure is building. My blood pressure is building. Cassie had that song with my shit. Cassie had that song with Lil Wayne and Fab, and them niggas killed that nigga on his own. What you know about this world I'm in? We now that wake up and get twisted to our Earl again. Yo, <laughs> small show. Crazy. Nah, the first time I heard Cassie was on that Rough Riders freestyle on the um, Vime 3. <clears throat> That's the first time I heard of him. Yeah, because he's running with X and niggas back then. Yeah. Yup. He, nah, he was nice then. Because J Hood was running with them too before them D Block. Shout out to Hood, man. Facts. He's still doing his um podcast now on YouTube. Yes. Yeah, hell yeah. Sub 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 been exposing him. Oh shoot, sub zero. <laughs> yeah. But sub zero's mad because he ain't in that light. Sub zero wanna be there. Sub zero wanna be there. He wanna be in that party shit too. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds crazy, but yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, his man was K Slate. K Slate was down with it. You don't fuck with Sub Zero. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I fuck with Sub Sub Zero. I fuck with Sub, but I, that's just the truth. A lot of niggas be backstabbing these industry niggas because they not in in the door like Drag Raw, right? All of them. They want to be right there too. They want to be sacrificing niggas too. You don't think niggas want that? Mm -hmm. 
You don't think everybody went in? So that's why they do that. They blame it on the, the, the Jewish people. It ain't that. They, they, want, to be with, they want to be with the uh, Diddy's and all of them. Yeah, they want to be there. Nah, I, nah. It was, to me, I think that shit is a blessing that they're not. <laughs> yeah, now, 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 because niggas is telling. Yeah, real shit. <laughs> but if niggas can do that shit and get away with it, all of them will be doing that. All of them. It's crazy. <laughs> all of them. Niggas, Come on, you, n- niggas, had, chinks, niggas had Chink Santana in, in a fucking... Loving hip hop bathroom shooting dope, then going on set. Like, come on, son. And the whole cast Probably. knew he was doing it, but he thought nobody would never tell on him. Who, who they all that? do that. Who did that? Chink Santana. Chink Santana. He was on um Josh here too at one point. <clears throat> yeah. But he yeah, he he looked coked up and loving him. Behind closed doors, these niggas go in, son. I'm glad that I'm glad that audio's out with Meek and them. I'm because it ain't just them. It's a whole bunch of niggas. I'm glad that shit is out and niggas still in denial. Talk about it's, it's fucking AI. Like this shit's crazy, son. So what about what about what about all the shit they say about Dr. Dre? Uh, he was in world class wrecking wrecking crew. He was down with it. You didn't see a picture when he's wearing some gay shit back in the day. He, he was wearing the um lip gloss and <laughs> the blouses. And all like he was calling them gay back then. Back in the nineties, easy he was getting on. <laughs> Word, nigga, that Word, man, Dr. Dre Word. did it too. That's why Word. Michelle dissed him for Suge Knight and did all that. That's Word. why he gave Suge Knight death row because Suge Knight knew all that shit too. That's why he said you keep this shit, nigga, because he didn't want to, to fucking blow him up. Thanks. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> real shit, man. Yeah, shit is real. That's why I'm glad I never made it. Because I probably yeah. be on videotape too somewhere. I'm glad I never went. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, these, yo, these niggas spike your Hennessy. You think the Hennessy is fresh. You bust it open. You think that shit is spiked up. Uh, you you wake up in you wake up in Kentucky somewhere with your asshole wet. You like, yo. <laughs> you don't uh, know nothing. Uh, yo, yeah. Marcus Houston, Omar, they did that too, man. And they did Bristol. that, and they and that was back in the days. Yeah, and that was years ago. That was back in the days. Marcus Houston been telling niggas that. The light skinned nigga with the pretty eyes, he been telling niggas that. Rasby and Rasby, and niggas thought he was crazy. <laughs> little Fizz. Uh, a little bug. <laughs> I was watching an old interview when um Little Wayne said Stunner and them raped him. And he oh, said he loved it. Oh yeah, said, Lil Wayne. <laughs> I remember he's that. telling he was telling little twist that he's like, Yeah, when Birdman gets to you, better not say no. I'm like, what? <laughs> what you talk about, Wayne? Yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. <laughs> Damn. Mike yeah, King. man. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember the Lil Wayne thing. Yeah, <laughs> he said, yeah. He's like, he's like, I loved it. I I'm like, loved what? It. <laughs> Yeah, he, he said like he was proud of shit too. Like yo, <laughs> nah, uh, yo. If, that, if that's what the, the industry parties did, I'm glad I wasn't a fan. And that's what they do. <laughs> that's what they do, and that's why. And that's why they drugged Wendy Williams. That's why they got her losing her mind. Yeah, cause she know everything. Like all this shit is a game, son. The chess game. That's this shit is scary, son. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie dog. White killed big. <laughs> this shit, this shit's scary, son. Oh, Godson, yeah, Puff did spike niggas' drinks. <laughs> and and next, ju- and same with he did Justin Bieber and Usher too. <laughs> they said Usher, you let you let your son go to Diddy's camp? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Diddy will wake niggas up out they sleep with the dick in the butt. You sleep. <laughs> Diddy yeah. on top, you banging you. You like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> this shit ain't funny. Shit, nah. shit serious, but, uh, but I, it's all I, good. Niggas trying to make the <laughs> band, bro. Niggas trying to make the band. Yeah. <laughs> trying to make the band. Especially that old interview that Diddy, Usher, and Kevin Hart <laughs> with the first oh, yeah. Hart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, remember we wake up up with the Frosted Flakes? I mean, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't even brush his teeth. He's turning over fucking with you. <laughs> Shit crazy. It's crazy, yo. Nigga don't even I'm brush crying. his teeth. I'm crying. Nigga don't even <laughs> brush their teeth and they on you. 
<laughs> you got a bad boy, baby. <laughs> I so I'm glad I didn't make it. I'm glad I didn't make it. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Cause I talk too much shit. Deep. They would spike my drink somewhere. Yo, I'd have that been hot. That nigga Allen said, "Are you trying to tell us something, Jinx?" <laughs> no, it, no, nah, I'm, 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 I'm just telling the truth, Allen. I ain't no rapper. <laughs> I ain't no rapper. Me I ain't, I ain't, I ain't nobody. Uh, I, 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 I just know what goes on. Orlando Brown, he ain't crazy. That's right, Wax. See, Wax, no. You got to have that third eye. Niggas ain't bugged right. out, son. Orlando Brown said like Diddy was trying to give the Ushka school squash. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Because when you got a voice and you look like you tough, they come after you. They want to break you. They want to butt break you. Seems. Yeah, me because oh, they want to butt break you. Did he try to do the same with Fab? <laughs> now nah, he caught Fab. He party with him. Yeah. A little after that, Jink Champs, he caught he caught up with Fab. <laughs> Come here, best daddy. believe he caught up with Fab. Come here, Daddy. <laughs> I don't care who you are. You not calling me Daddy on Jink Champs? Yo, Diddy, <laughs> chill. Yo, chill with that. Yo, oh, chill with that. Oh. Oh. I'm not doing that shit either. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing Yo, that. Gully, what up? I mean, neither. Shit, what's the word with you, cars? It's a little guzzy. Go look, it's a little guzzy. Gully. Take that shit, man. Y'all niggas is crazy, yo. <laughs> nah, it's <laughs> real shit. <laughs> Nobody's lying. It's just, just real shit. <laughs> real oh, shit. California. I'm glad you back home, cars. Shit, me too, bro. I don't like the hospital. Man. Yo, Lando say he busted the open. You gotta leave them fucking cigarettes alone, bro. Them cigarettes ain't no good, boy. Oh, I got some bomb. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna try, man. Yo, nigga, it's hot as fuck no, outside right now, bro. Cold, bro. Like dead ass. Like everybody outside mm. right now. Yeah, Orlando. You talking about Orlando Brown? Yeah, Orlando say he busted the open. <laughs> Uh, that nigga Lando Brown, that nigga's that nigga's insane, bro. Nigga said Bobby Brown's his pops. <laughs> Bobby Brown. That nigga would say anything, that nigga my nigga. Is crazy. Orlando Al- 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 Brown said Bow Wow got some bomb head. <laughs> nigga's bomb. That nigga fucked his money up, bro. So he just be saying anything to get that recognition and shit. That's right. he do. <laughs> nah. Yo, you can't make that's this. That, that's, that, he, he, that's that Illuminati shit, bro. In fact, it is. <laughs> you think that shit is real? Think that Illuminati should be real? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I think when you get oh, to a certain, a certain point, yeah. 100%. I just think them niggas is no different like gangs and shit like that, bro. They just got their shit together, you know what I mean? And wearing matching blouses. I mean, because if, if it's like a secret society, bro, then... Niggas wouldn't know about it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So Michael Jackson was pop suit. Oh. Michael Jackson. I don't know, bro. That 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 yeah. Luminati's real. Yo, y'all need, why you act like the Meat Mills tape ain't real? That Luminati shit yeah. is real, son. They they just want to do that to have something over your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah what I'm saying though, if you don't if you don't give a fuck, my niggas, nothing could be hold over your head, bro. Mm. True, true, true. But you got bloggers like us. You gonna give a fuck after a couple of months? That's you gonna care? Cause I ain't letting that shit go. Like I said, I looked up to Meek, son. Like I was running around thinking I was a boss. Like, come on, man. You know, Meek is heavy in my area too. I'm from Hollis and shit, bro. Well, yeah, yeah, Meek gotta take the L for that. Meek got to take that L, son. <laughs> yeah. No, he was calling, when he was beefing with Drake, he was calling Drake gay and all types of shit. Like, nah, Meek, you gotta take that L. Nah, then, but then I hate to say this, but Drake already smoked me. That's facts. <laughs> nigga, Drake was blowing up condoms in the grassy, nigga, when he was younger, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. And he forgot about that. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The wheelchair facts. Jimmy, wheelchair Jimmy. Wheelchair Jimmy. He got clapped in school, right? Or something. <laughs> yeah. He got clapped on the lunch period. Some money. shit. Yeah, I remember <laughs> the grassy. Oh, some weirdos is real. <laughs> that spike drink a Lando drink still got him fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like me took him way more than the L. Nigga, yeah, if that Illuminati nigga was real, that, nigga, that nigga scheme would have been Illuminati a long time ago, nigga. Uh, that nigga lived off $7 a day, my nigga. He'd have been, been so busy. Illuminati <laughs> <a scheme. laughs> 
They would just gave us some secret perks. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, the other night, that nigga made like twenty dollars, and he ended our life mad fast, bro. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> hey, yo, ski. It's man. just the weed out here, man. Call <laughs> them legend, yes, sir. Know what I'm saying ten toes boxing your man's. Know what I'm saying ten toes. Is boxing your man's, bro. You know what I'm saying? You could box me. Hood TMZ is a sucker, homie. I'll punch that nigga into a seizure, bro. I'm not even playing with that nigga. You heard? I'd, I'd be a body. No, nah, you ain't fighting skinny, my nigga. My mom's dude got cancer. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? What the fuck is your point by saying that? Like, what is your point? Like, what is what is your point? Like, I don't understand your point. What is your point? Your bad what? Your bad what? What the fuck is you talking about? Like, what what the fuck? Is you talking about, bro? Your bad what, nigga? What the fuck is you talking about, dog? Stupid nigga, man. Another dumb nigga. Bro, another stupid nigga, man. <laughs> Ah, uh. <laughs> get your shit together, scheme, man. Uh. Oh, he was on. He was on last night with ten toes. I ain't see that shit. <laughs> like he, he said, like he made a new friend. <laughs> I ain't see. I ain't see him on the. I ain't see. Uh, <laughs> Illuminati <laughs> went once. Was, was he on scheme shit? Or was he on? Um, he ain't working on be begging. <laughs> Oh, walk towards the hood. Oh, this man, nice out here. Where you gonna go? Where you gonna rush to, motherfucker? <laughs> White niggas be bugging out over here, man. They sure do. <laughs> they do, bro. So you that shit. <laughs> well, so what's good with y'all, man? Y'all good? Yeah. This bugging not over. <sighs> So he was on ten toes. It was on ten toes. Shit, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go over there. I don't know that nigga. That nigga ten toes. I don't know, man. Yo, ten toes was selling, ten toes was selling bro. pictures of his chest hairs, nigga. For money, oh. up, my nigga, like that. I don't know how I feel about that nigga ten toes, man. I think ten, ten, ten toes is trying to play with my name, bro. I don't know how I feel about that, the only bank account scheme ever had was a was that food bank. <laughs> <laughs> I nigga ten toes. All them niggas is like four feet, my nigga. I don't know how niggas be fan of niggas, bro. I that don't nigga, know either. That's crazy. That nigga went running, playing with my name, talking about yo, hood TMZ ain't let me up and all this and all like nigga. Nigga, son, none of them niggas is mad short, bro. Ten toes. They, they yeah, they all short. The son, all the niggas. They got the Napoleon complex. It was on live last night begging for donations for taste kids to eat. Oh shoot, me. Yeah, bro. this niggas last night was like yo. Donate to the channel, man. Trying to get the little homie something to eat, man. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get the little homie, trying to get the little homie something uh, to eat. My food stamps don't come till later on. At some point, we thought you was a baller out here, out. man. <laughs> if you don't go, go get the fucking kids something to eat while you up there acting crazy, bro. Stop playing around, bro. Yo, that nigga scheme fucking Tay, bro. I'm convinced. Uh, up there, I don't feeding know, them bro. Kids. Come on, you. Yo, bro. How you gonna have a broke nigga in your crib for mad years, nigga? And that nigga only make like five dollars every every blue moon, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking it. He's fucking it, bro. He's fucking it. Uh, shoot, I won't be surprised. <laughs> he don't get no bitch, my nigga. They probably yo, sell him. Huh? They probably selling the food stamps as soon as they get him. 
Word. Tay about to kick him out. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. Kick him out. (laughs) Scheme get food stamps every month. You know, know scheme don't he don't have he don't work or nothing. He gotta have some kind of scam where he's he's selling some of them shits, bro. Damn. As soon as he get them shits, he's probably selling. As soon as he get them, bro. Scheme is a lot. He get like six seven hundred dollars, bro. bro. He get a crap. He probably get like six seven hundred dollars to the nigga like same last name though. Nasty. Scheme can live like a, a month off of like thirty dollars and shit. Yeah, if, if Scheme and Tay got the same last name, I I'd be incest. <laughs> I'd be incest. <laughs> you know they killed a the nigga. They killed a the nigga in Brooklyn yesterday with the same last name as Scheme and shit. Oh damn, for real? Yeah. Faison. Faison, yeah. Oh, damn. That shit is crazy. That's one of his mans killed him. Oh, that shit is crazy. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I don't think it's his family though, but you know, All right. but All it was right. a, it was on Sterling Place in, in the Heights. So, oh wow, both phase on. Oh, both phase on. Damn. Yeah. You said ten toes been expo- exposed by Zip. Hey, and scheme. The last names is phase on. That's just incest. Hey yo, scheme. <laughs> Acting like they Faison. tough and shit because they know ain't nobody gonna see them. You know what I'm saying? But see me, I'm totally different, bro. Anything I say on this YouTube, bro, I seen a nigga face and be ready to kill over it too. So you know, difference, man, and this shit, bro. Big difference, bro. Big fucking difference, bro. Trust me, nigga. Anything I say over this internet, I say in a nigga face and be ready to kill over it, nigga. Anything that I say, nigga. I'll put a nigga lights out for that shit. Anything that I say. Oh, boy. Where was all this killer killer? Ready to kill a nigga and you'll do this and all this and that. When nigga slice your face, that's number one. And where was that when old boy... Was went down on you on the block and told you this ain't your hood no more. Thanks. You a clown, stay off the block and all that. And you ran and got your uncle. Where was all that? Where was all that energy when niggas was was testing you, bro? That's why I be trying to tell you, niggas, bro. Y'all niggas be getting y'all chance to perform. It's like being in the NBA finals, nigga. And y'all niggas bro, be choking like LeBron, nigga, against against the Mavericks, nigga. When y'all get y'all chance to perform, don't nothing happen, bro. <laughs> when, when y'all get on YouTube, let me ask, no, no, I'm ready to kill. I'm ready to die for this shit. Shut <laughs> your bitch ass up, nigga. Yeah. You ain't ready to do nothing but live off Tay, you bitch ass nigga. Shut <laughs> exactly. your ass up. All you do is live off Tay and beg motherfuckers for money, nigga. Use a and bitch, smash nigga. on the low. <laughs> your mother should have swallowed you, nigga. You hoe ass. Bitch ass. You know that nigga, that nigga, that nigga gotta be beating his dick, bro. Nigga, you get told, told, nigga, who said, nigga, you told them on the police, nigga, like, yo, you stack, bro, you are like, yo. <laughs> and nigga, that nigga strobe light, nigga. <laughs> that nigga strobe light is a bitch ass nigga, my nigga strobe. You, you living far out, nigga. Bag, didn't you stupid <clears throat> ass nigga, you ain't get shit, you dumb ass nigga. Known as a motherfucking rat, <laughs> got kicked out the blood. Get little you know, got him super you. scared. They tell you, no, <laughs> yeah. he's not even rocking with you. You kicked out the whip. You still nigga. That play. nigga strobe light is a bitch ass far rock nigga. How they gonna say fuck stack bundles? And you forgive a nigga just to give the nigga your money, bro? That nigga's gay, my nigga. Strobe oh, light is gay, my nigga. How are they gonna say fuck your homie? And you be back with the niggas to get that nigga your money. Like, what the fuck? That shit is weird. This is gay, nigga, bro. That's weird. And strobe light, you got some explaining to do, my nigga. Yeah, that shit is weird. Bro. That shit is, that shit is. <clears throat> you said fuck the whole Yo, bro. Nigga, you know saying? Like, yo. Right. And he said fuck you too, nigga. Yeah, right. No, nah, but the other, the other day, the other nigga day, that nigga strobe was on his ass, shit, bro. bro. Nigga, strobe light wowed him up the other day. And then he got mad quiet. And I. I was trolling, nigga. I'm like, yo, damn, nigga, Strobe is your daddy. Yo, you kick me out the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nigga packed me up early, bro. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube murderers. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bro. Uh, yeah, this YouTube, YouTube shit is weird, bro. <laughs> These niggas be on here. <laughs> I hurt that nigga's scheme feelings, man. Facts. 
<laughs> I be showing scheme how I'm doing, my nigga. I'm doing great out here, bro. Live, 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 live. He don't want to do nothing, man. He don't want to do nothing, bro. The fuck is five dollars a day, my nigga? That shit is crazy. <laughs> His mom's in a New York <laughs> hospital. You know, scheme ain't visiting her. Good luck, mom. <laughs> Good luck, mom. <laughs> Uh, scheme, scheme scared to visit your mom. Go, scheme, go visit your mother, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do nothing to you, man. Go ahead, visit your mother. I know your mother's sick, so I'll give you this one opportunity to go see your scheme, mother. Right? Scheme ain't had no but cheeks since '95, y'all. Scheme, <laughs> are you scared to go visit your mother, bro? <laughs> are you scared? I'm trying to tell you, I'm not gonna have you killed or nothing, bro. Go, ahead, bro. Go, ahead. go visit your mother, bro. He you always so kind of smoking bro. gun talk. But he's scared to go to jail trying to get some money. He's scared to visit his moms, <laughs> man. Like, yo, Steve, go visit your mother, man. Yo, I, yo, nigga, how you, mom, like, bro. That nigga ain't got no money, bro. How the fuck you think he got guns, bro? He don't got he no money. He ain't got no guns. He don't got no guns, nigga. Nigga, yeah, think he's all sports nigga or some shit, nigga. Like, like nigga, you think if he had six, guns, he never time. would have sold them shits already, bro? He'd have been sold them shits, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My I'm nigga, the nigga gets five dollars every blue Yo, sir, sun, blue nigga moon, nigga. Like one night talking about he had two grenades. Some grenades. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he said he had this grenades or some shit like that. <laughs> this man, yo, dead ass. This nigga said he got two grenades. If it comes down to it, I'll blow this motherfucker up. I got two grenades. <laughs> nigga, he this probably he know you have four legs. seconds. Scheme would have been blown his fucking whole fucking house up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> or... Scheme, oh, you, yo, you, you talk that level four of that shit, you wouldn't even know how to use none of that shit if it came down to it, nigga. Yo, somebody low, add yeah. that nigga. Somebody get add low, that nigga low. in here, man. He's scared somebody to add come that nigga up in. there. He's got the impact. Come up here, Scheme. Every, every, every Since you're tough. <laughs> yeah, add that nigga in here, man. Should I nigga what that life is like? He been, he's been in the line, but yeah, he's scared Yeah, was best life he's ever. <laughs> that nigga scared of me for Word. some reason. I don't know, bro. That nigga scared of me for some reason, bro. I don't know why he's scared, for weeks. Trying to get his body off the of ice, <laughs> nigga. That ain't got a fish tank with just a filter in it, nigga. Just making water noise, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga, you ain't that never nigga. seen that nigga fishes in there. <laughs> he would have seen would have been so guns. <laughs> yeah, that, he'd have been so them shits. You know what I regret though, bro. I'm on my gears on YouTube, bro. I regret letting niggas get me out of my out of my zone. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's why I fucked up at. You heard, like, that's what I regret, bro. I, I regret, you know, not having no experience. I regret, you know, not um doing my homework, you know what I mean? Doing my due diligence. I, I You know, I regret not doing my homework on a, you know, on the actual app that I was getting into. I didn't know nothing about this shit, bro. To be real, bro, I learned everything through trial and error. And by that time, it was over. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? By that time, it was it was over. You know what I'm saying? I regret letting niggas get me out my zone, bro. Like other YouTubers that was attacking me. You know what I'm saying? And not just knowing the business that I was entering, bro. That's that's my fault, kinda. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't prepared. And I wasn't trying to get prepared. Like once I went viral, I wasn't trying to get prepared. You know what I mean? I was just going with the flow of things. I didn't take no time out to be like, all right, look, let me let me study this shit. Let me, you know, surf through YouTube. Let me see what's actually going on with this shit. You know what I'm saying? If I would have did that, then I'd have probably been more successful. If I would have took a step back and just study shit, then I'd have probably been more successful. But I would just feel like if I didn't get on every day that I would lose the actual clout that I had. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was feeling. You know what I mean? I didn't know the game that I was in. I was actually feeling like if I didn't get on every day that all, you know, the five, 600 people wouldn't even be there no more. You know what I mean? That's how I was thinking. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the nature of the, of the you know, the app that I was getting on. I didn't know that, you know, it'd be all right. You know what I'm saying? I just had to have some blueprints with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I, I let the trolls take me off of my grind. I let other YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, take me off 
and drag me into the dirty section of YouTube, bro. And that's just real shit, son. I, I, you know what I mean? I let niggas drag me over here, bro. Because when my train was going, my train was going straight, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then all these niggas start attacking me, bro. Tommy Soda Mayo, Gully TV, Hassan Campbell. All these niggas just started attacking me. <laughs> Dirty nigga. <laughs> You know what I'm saying like Ten Toes been had a lot of subscribers, bro. They've been had a lot of subscribers. But, um, yeah, man, everybody started attacking a nigga. I'm responding back to everybody. Then the trolls and everybody else, they coming in my chat every day, taking me off of my dean and what I'm talking about, telling me Gully talking about me, telling me Hassan talking about me, <laughs> telling me a zip or... Uh, or Mayo Mouth is talking about me. So now, what does that do? It takes me off of my celebrity gossip, and now I'm talking about these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So this is why I be saying these niggas ain't loyal. These niggas that be in the chat and all that, these niggas ain't loyal niggas. They, a lot of these niggas, yeah, they still do it, but it's, you know, this is what it is, though. You know what I mean? I know they still do that shit, but I didn't recognize it back then. You know what I'm saying? I recognize it now. That's why I be saying like a lot of these niggas ain't really don't really fuck with you because they'll take you off of what you're talking about, celebrity gossip, and they'll be like, yeah, son, you ain't hear what Zip said about you. Now, if you're not a nigga that's going to stay on track with what you're talking about, there you go. You go left immediately. Who? What? He said what? Yeah, son. Check his blog. Oh, uh, uh. scheme. Everybody knows where you went wrong is when you started making a little <laughs> bit of money off this shit, and you Fact. just you just expected like niggas to just give you money. Like when you was doing your shit, you was earning your money and shit like that. It went from you doing your gossip shit. That's how you was earning your money. Exactly. Just talking about this person, that person. <clears throat> You started gossiping about motherfuckers and your shit in your way died. And then you expect a motherfucker, you just expect a motherfuckers, yo, because they're in your chat just to be donating to you, because they like, who the and fuck? And you started are you, blocking niggas. niggas. You, you started just blocking started expecting people. niggas to donate to you, bro. Yeah, and you started blocking people and expect people to give them money still. <laughs> I don't know what gangster does that. <laughs> Max, what up, mama? Shoot. Uh, like, bro. Is that a C on the shirt? <laughs> you, you gotta think about it, bro. Like, what are niggas paying for? Niggas was going to your lives seeing you cuss out little kids trying to fight little kids <laughs> and you passing out on lives from perks from multiple times, bro. You just passed out on live. Like, but you want niggas to donate to see that? Like, niggas want to donate to watch you go pass out. Shoot, he might, he might fuck that up on a GoFundMe. You <laughs> mean Tom just made his fell asleep on live, bro? Like three I times, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, you gotta be, come on, man. Three times he fell asleep. But yo, back to the gym shit that we was talking yeah. about earlier, because I had seen uh, a few videos. I seen this, I seen this, uh, Right, nah, I've seen Man the purple gave play. Jim Jones the biggest song of his career, especially at that time, and the song was balling. I'm talking about the ghost writer who saved Jim Jones's career. Who is this person? His name is Stack Bundles. R.I.P. to Stack Bundles. Absolutely growing up was one of my favorite rappers if you would have asked me when i was a kid who my favorite rapper was it would have been wayne 50 cent stack bundles and probably ice cube 
you threw him in there, you know, and Snoop Dogg. But like, Stack Bundles was definitely in my top three. And to this day, still is, even after I have been dead for a very long time, I had to reach back into my childhood for this one because this one is one that I'm really like, I, I, I feel like I need enough people don't know about Stack Bundles and a lot of people should know at least what Stack Bundles went through behind the scenes. And I contemplated putting this on the dark side of songwriting, but that's something else for another time. So who is Stack Bundles? Stack Bundles was a rapper from Queens. And if you know anything about Queens, so he was from the Far Rockaway area from Queens. And if you know anything about Queens, Far Rockaway is the worst, most impoverished, most terrible section of Queens. You know, Stack Bundles had this interview, I think it was with Angie Martinez a long time ago where he talked about, you know, they didn't have nothing. They didn't have no ballers, no rappers, no nothing. He was Far Rockaway's hope. Absolutely 100% true. I don't know anybody else who came out of Far Rockaway aside from him. It might have been a few others, but like off the top of my mind, I don't know. So came out, was fucking with the diplomats. He was fucking with Clue. Like I absolutely, I have every single Stack Bundles mixtape. And this goes back to that whole Virginia, New York connection. Cause what people don't talk about enough is the fact that dips, that dip set era was so heavy. The Dipset era was so potent and intoxicating. Yo, fuck you and Stack Bundle, Strobe Light. What you, what, nigga? Fuck you and hey, fuck you, nigga. And that nigga Stack Bundles, nigga. Fuck Stack Bundles, nigga. Stack Bundles to my dick, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Stack Bundles to suck my dick, nigga. And I know the nigga that murdered him. What? Fuck you talking about, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. This nigga crazy, nigga. Fuck stack bundles in you, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Nigga, fuck you talking about, nigga. You talking about nigga? Fuck stack bundles, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga? What? And I know the nigga that blew his head off, nigga. He's a star standing next to the stars, but he just can't. Um, it's called can't go on this way. That stack bundles. This and you can go look it up. But like, he talks about how Jim Jones didn't recognize that Stack was a star. Stack, I, Stack wasn't broke. But, but Stack was still in the street. Stack didn't have his own apartment. And Stack was like, Jim, I need, you know, I need to get my shit so I can get my own apartment and shit. And Jim Jones was like, why you need your own apartment? Why don't you just come stay with me at my house? And Stack like, bro, I'm a grown fucking man. Like, why the fuck would I want to stay with another grown fucking man? You know what I'm saying? Jim Jones completely... And like, now I can't even say enable completely disabled him, wasn't treating him how he was supposed to get treated. Bullshit this, he's stacked still in the street. Stack was still, and this is how Stack ended up getting killed. He gave Jim Jones balling and balling became the biggest motherfucking song period at a point in time. And it completely saved Jim Jones because I don't, I wouldn't say Jim Jones was on his way out, but Jim, it, it's really hard to break out of New York and that market because that's one of those arrogant marketplaces where you really can, if you can pop off in the Bronx, you really don't ever have to leave New like that New York area. You don't ever have to leave the North because you can live very good if you could pop off in the Bronx because the Bronx is the primary consumer. Obviously, Dipset is popping in the Bronx. They had hundreds of mixtapes and so many, like they're known for this, they're known for that, but Stack, had to play the bat even after giving this motherfucker the greatest fucking hit of his fucking career biggest song of his fucking career 
which turned into a whole lot. My thing is, once you have that one hit song, it turns into a whole lot of shit. Jim Jones is still rich. Jim Jones still got writer. And that's not really a big deal that Jim Jones has writers, because who gives a fuck if Jim Jones writes his music? Jim Jones is who he say he is. So and when you are who you say you are, and you really are gangster, you it don't matter who write the music. Would you like your gangster? Your favorite your gangster. Would you like your favorite gangster rapper to write their music? Of course. But it doesn't really make too much of a difference when you are gangster and you have somebody else ghost writing or somebody else gives you a song. Stack was writing for a lot of motherfuckers. It wasn't just Jim Jones. Fab. Stack was writing for a lot of motherfuckers and you would have never known that if because my thing is with me I'm, I, I hear a motherfucker pen I can hear when somebody does a, like I know people's work when I hear it if you go back and listen to Stack Bundle's music then you go back and listen to the Jim Jones's music you can tell what songs Stack Bundle's wrote for Jim Jones like balling is complete like I would empty my motherfucking savings account to get the reference track that Stack Bundles made for Jim Jones because that shit is just that song is it sounds like a Stack Bundle song but ultimately Stack was never able to get on how he was supposed to he was never given the chance Jim Jones through the career down the drain but just it's, it's like the writing camp it's like when you have an artist like that that you know is possibly the best he was the best but he could be the biggest thing you mismanaged him because you didn't want him to become bigger than you fuck what the motherfuckers telling you about he was writing all this fucking music he was doing this and it's like he's a hit factory everything stack said was fine and it was real because that's just who he was he ended up getting fucking shot in the head in his neighborhood and murdered because you as the ghost writer spent all your time giving all your hits away you didn't get no credit for it you didn't get no money for it you didn't get paid for it and but you fucking with a nigga who you think is gonna help you out and you oh. but what exactly happened in the early hours of june 11th stack bundles had spent the night out with friends at stereo a Manhattan nightclub and stopped off at a White Castle. On the way home to his building, as he entered, the police said he was approached by an unknown number of assailants and shot in his head and neck. The shooters fled, and the neighbors immediately called emergency services and tried to get him help. Sadly, he was declared deceased about 20 minutes later at Jamaica Hospital Medical Center. In the aftermath of Stack Bundle's untimely passing, theories started to emerge. For some, the motive of the shooting seemed rooted in jealousy. Stack was making significant strides in his career, and those who lived in and around Far Rockaway were familiar with rivalry and competition. He started to emerge. Yeah, I, I gotta check that, that person out that Ben said that Jim was basically like not giving Stack a chance to get out. I gotta check out. Yeah, man. I'll check that video out. That's that's real shit. I mean... I've been knew that already, Stack, though. Stack, Stack had opportunities to sign deals. He just turned them down because the money didn't make sense. Yeah. Stack was turning down deals from major from major labels like Def Jam before, before Bird <laughs> Gang and all that shit like that. So why would he... Like, you know what I'm saying? He he wasn't he wasn't trying to take them little last deals. You know what I'm saying? He could have been had a, a bullshit deal. Certain songs yesterday while I was working out, I've been I've been listening to certain songs. He said that. He said turn down more office than the artists get. Yeah. I've been doing that already. And it's like, yo, he didn't turn down Jay-Z and Def Jam and all, like a whole bunch, you know what I'm saying? So it's like and it's like, all right, if I'm turning down these offers. Myself, stack bundles. Yeah. And then I'm start working with Jim, but Jimmy's taking me to label deals and they're offering me the same numbers that I'm already turning down. Does it make sense for him to sign these deals? Mm, true. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm already getting these offers on my own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
yeah, you get you getting me on songs with Wayne and this and this person, and this person. But yeah, but as far as signing to you, it exactly. never made sense. Max, yeah. I think Max so Max signed for like two hundred and fifty thousand or some shit like that. Mm. Yeah. Max signed Max 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 signed for like two hundred and fifty thousand or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Stacks wasn't Max. signing for that. Stacks was turning down like five hundred thousand from from Def Jam and other other labels and shit back then. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, why the fuck would I sign for two fifty with you? But I'm already turning down five hundred thousand million dollar deal. Like it doesn't even make like no, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, that that wouldn't make sense at all. If I'm, if I'm turning them shit down. That's why when it came to that Bird Gang shit, Stacks never signed no paperwork saying, "Yeah, I'm Bird Gang." On you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he he was just like fucking writing Jim's songs and shit. Now I look at it like it, I'm glad like Stack didn't sign. I'm glad Jim, that, that would have made I'm, sense. I'm glad that them niggas linked up though because they 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 made good music and shit. Yeah, I mean Jim Jim did what he did he was supposed to do for Stacks. True. Stacks Jim uh, Jim did a lot of shit for Stack. A lot of people say that Jim did did this shit did that. But Jim did a lot of shit for Stacks when there was no paperwork for him to even do the shit. You know what I'm saying? The way he was doing. Mm. Oh shit! And by the time Stacks, and by the time Stacks asked Jim, for, I think it's I think it's Ching shit. That's like that. That's what it is. But yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to I try to add him back. It shit just yeah. keeps spinning. You're probably you probably was trying to respond too, but yeah, wax even well, yeah, wax <laughs> scheme said Drake, fuck cool. that <laughs> salute Dre, but nah, scheme said fuck that. Now his mom's in the hospital. <laughs> That's crazy, but yeah, man. Uh, nah, go with your mother, man. <laughs> yeah. Nobody, nobody, no, touch, all nobody YouTube, can harm all you. YouTube should have signed. Be a exactly. man. Show us your man and go see your mother, bro. Support your love. You don't want nothing to happen to your mother. You you've been scared to go see her and all that shit like that. Now you got to live with that shit the rest of your life, man. Exactly. Go see your mother, bro. Even if you got, even if you get, even if you get killed, my nigga. It is what it is, bro. Go see your moms, bro. Get up out of that crazy, basement, bro. Get up out of your that moms, basement, bro. Like that shit's fucked show up some because love. your moms. How many kids your moms got? They keep oh he Chink said, said they keep kicking them off. Scared to go see you know. Chink said they keep kicking them off. Every time I add him to the stage, it just keeps spinning. Ah, uh, hmm. probably sig probably the signal. I don't know. Ah, yeah. Now we now we gotta wait for her to come back. How you don't visit your mom? Yeah, yeah, Mika, that is sad. That is sad, though. Scheme don't know how to be a man. I just, ref I just refreshed my shit, so I don't know, bro. All right. Get low, probably. <laughs> Give him a pass. <laughs> this shit just keeps spinning. Every time I I, I, I click add guess. Mm. He, he probably got to turn his phone on and off if he can do that. Shit's just spinning, bro. That's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> That's what my brother Mac me for pulling up earlier, man. Always good to talk, uh, talk, yeah. talk with Mac about about them days and shit. Cause those yeah. were the good, those were the good days. You know those days ain't you brought some Harlem history. Those were the good days, bro. Yeah. Before Max went to jail, bro, was some of the craziest. What? Shoot, that was after Dipset broke up. Shoot, we know who broke Dipset up though. Jimmy did that shit. Jimmy, Hell Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy tried to take over at one point. Remember when Campbell was when Cam was chilling, was really do, with with, with Vado and shit. And he wasn't really fucking with them niggas at that point. Yeah, the UN. It was it was Cam and Vado. Yep, and fucking. Jim was doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I, nah, Dip I could, can't. Jim could have took over. Dip said, bro, he just ain't do it the right way. Having Max B and having Stack Bonus, he could have took that shit over easy, bro. Exactly. Easy. Especially at that time when he dropped ball, ball and all that shit. And Max oh, ain't go to yeah. jail and Stacks ain't get killed. And he, like, he would have took over. Like, he would have took over with both of them niggas are still with him. That's a fact. You know what? You know another you one. You know, uh, you know, Jim was fucking with True Life at one point because of uh, JoJo Capone and shit. Yeah. And True Life was Jim Jones' on bodyguard, too. If I ain't lying. He saved that man's life, man. They ran down on that nigga two different, two different, two, two, two different times, bro. They ran down on that nigga Jim Jones and the nigga saved that man's life, bro. Shit. For one after the Rucker incident. And before that, shoot, true life wasn't mine. <laughs> Had Jim did shit the right way and kept Sack alive and Max B like out of jail and not do no trifling shit, he would have took over. Nigga fucked the whole wave up, so facts. It's like he thought he could go on. He thought he could just steal from niggas and go on and, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, you couldn't yeah. go on without them niggas being there, nigga. You saw exactly. what happened with yeah. <laughs> Career went, he went, he signed to Columbia. Remember, he got that, that money over there in Columbia, went over there and dropped the album. That shit was a dud because Max B was, was in jail and they was beefing. Oh, pray for rain. <laughs> yeah, pray for rain. Nobody, like, who was praying for uh, rain? Like, nobody was waiting for that to drop, but again, that shit was done, like, shit. like looking, when looking that back, shit came out. Looking back, I'm, I'm guilty as hell, too. I bought Pray for Rain at one point. I bought, I bought it. Pray for Rain. Yeah. yeah. Shit was a dud. That's when, I, that's, when I, that's when I realized, I was like, yo, this nigga's finished, man. Yeah. I was like, yo. Ah. <sighs> Pray for yeah. Rain was straight trash. Trash. Uh, trash. I, yeah, it was trash. I still got. I still the got Bird the Gang album. album the Bird curve. Gang album with no Max B. I should had what two stack bundles records on that. And he added Come like on, Sin bro. City in that bullshit. I ain't. Thank God I ain't cop that. <laughs> thank God. As soon as Cam's Crime Pays um came out, I said yes. I needed to get what, that. When that Bird Gang mixtape came out, though, that yeah. shit was like the hottest shit ever, bro. Like Facts. that, I, like that time. Jim, oh yeah, Godson said Jim ain't no leader. He want the spotlight. Facts. Jim yeah, he ain't no be leader, little, nigga. <laughs> That's why I said he ain't no leader because the, look, think about it. Everybody Cam came through with came out with an album. Facts. Ju Everybody Ju dropped Wells. the album. Nobody dropped the album on the gym, bro. Niggas Max. was still living in Far Rockaway. <laughs> Max was still doing robberies. Mel Matrix you know is locked like, up. Was, you know what I'm saying? NOE went somewhere else. He was trying else. to live off of a fake Jay-Z. Facts. Then he was trying to live off of the fucking <laughs> uh, the Mel Matrix and all them niggas. He was the original 6 9 nigga. Facts. <laughs> Who the original Dude. six nine thick ass blood, bro? The word Jinx even knew it. No, Stax didn't want to move in with Jim because there was gonna be some homo shit going on. Yeah, facts. Everybody trying to live with. Come on, bro. L live with Jim? How? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not living in no Jim Jones for what? <laughs> Probably got some shit that said, "Yo, write my songs now," and I ain't paying y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Jim wanted. Do you know well, what Jim wanted to be like? Diddy. Scheme ain't boxing nobody, bro. Scheme is saying he gonna fight this person, fight that person for years. Scheme ain't he gonna pull up to do this and all that. Scheme ain't you know, gonna do shit. Scheme's not going anywhere, pulling up anywhere to do anything. Dude won't even go see his fucking mom. So you want me to believe she's pulling up to a fight? <laughs> yeah. Dude won't even go see his fucking mom, bro. Scared to go to New York. Because all the shit he been talking, all he says, now he has to walk it. And he won't even do that to see his fucking mother. Oh, okay. All right, Shane. There you go. He's going to believe that he's going to come for a fight. I, 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 knew, I, knew, I knew you should be, like, refreshed. For yeah, I had to cut my phone off and back on. I heard you say that shit. Yeah. But nah, Stax knew. That's why he didn't want... Yo, if, if you remember that DVD, 
Jim Jones had when they was in a hotel and shit. Yep. It was nothing but niggas in the hotel. Jim Jones walking around in his boxes. When mm -hmm. Max B came I, to I, the I door, he was like, he was like, yo, he, what do you say? He said he was saying something. He was like, yo, the chick dissed me. She had me crying. That's what Max B was saying. And oh, Jim yeah, Jones went to the door one. in his boxes. That's yeah. why I stacked that one go over there, man. Word. Living with nine niggas. Like, come on, man. I wouldn't that's do that, that fuck. Like Jim Jones was grooming niggas too, man. That's gonna oh, come out soon. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's gonna come out soon. Surviving Jim Jones. I can see that shit now. That's gonna come out soon. Because <laughs> P. Diddy taught all them niggas, man. And, and, and P. Diddy learned from the best. <laughs> Grooming, I'm telling you, man. Nah, I, I believe it. I believe I'm it. Telling I'm telling you. Glad Zach had the common sense to say no. <laughs> Nigga said, I'll stay in Far Rock and, and die, then live with you. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It be nah, like that. I, now, now I'm thinking about it. Thank God. Yeah, wax all this shit said, coming out life. ever since Meek Mill's bent over. I believe everything, man. <laughs> Meek Mill should never did that, man. Yeah, I, I thought I thought I thought Meek Mill's was a gangster. I'm dead ass, man. Nah, gangsters. Go, I thought go he go was a home. gangster from Philly. Them Philly nah. niggas be gangsters, man. Nah, I, this this one went to Diddy's party. <laughs> <laughs> All his gangsterism left. <laughs> yeah, man. Who really from Philly is like who? Nah, them Philly niggas it's give it, it up, nah. so nah, Philly, Philly niggas give it up. It's real. I'm it's just that who? it's just that one person. He that popped on Benny Siegel. I'm like, oh, all right, he popped on Beans. I, I fuck with Meek. He popped on Beans. Niggas was scared of Beans. He popped on Beans. I said, all Meek right. He got one hot song on his album, bro. And that's why he he bent over. Then he was like, "What can you give me?" Your girl, uh, your girl got hot at average music. <laughs> Word. The girl been saying so many Monkey like, Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> the favorite rappers Shit's are always crazy, the Monkey Wilsons, bro. <laughs> always. <laughs> always. Uh, I can only name one name. My favorite rapper. That's hard, bro. That's oh, tough, bro. Man. I got I can't do that. I got I need like a top three. I can't just name one nigga, bro. Even even DMX called it out where people go into industry parties and bend over over the table. I need I need three. I need three slots. Facts. Nah, you can only pick one. Who you rolling with? And don't she, say me, fat me, joke. Me, you look like cause you look like you look like you'll say fat joke. Don't say nah, fat joke. Nah, nah, nah. Well, goodbye, bro. I will, I'm about to kick you ass Why? out of here. Huh? <laughs> fat joke, my ass. I don't know. Nah, no, nah, don't kick me. Hard, bro. I, it <laughs> took me a half hour to get back in here. You want to kick me back out? Stop That's kicking me out, man. <laughs> because, be, nah. because, because because live stream think you don't want me in here. That's why they keep I kicking mean, me out. Know, that uh, nah, hard, nah. Things have to like, turn his phone on and off. <laughs> I need like a five. You got I need like a top five. I got, nah, I got Nas, those ghost right a lot. Like, got Nas, sorry, Tupac, Max B, Stack Bundles. Even Tupac, yeah. this is a picture of Tupac with underwear on, on, on the stage with the underwear on. Then I gotta get it. I understand that one. That that hologram. Big prodigy. Yeah. yeah. Down I remember. Team. You know what I'm saying? That's hard, Shit. bro. That's tough. So, so if hip hop is doing this, I wonder what the rock and roll niggas and shit is doing. Probably laughing at the people doing it. You can just imagine what's going on, son. And those are the Zionists <laughs> for real. Once, you can just imagine what's going on, man. You start losing this gangster. Yeah, God. Yeah, man. Meek Mill lost his gangster when he did that bunny hop. <laughs> yeah. Fact. yeah. I think it was bunny. Nah. Nigga said, every time I score, you got to do the bunny hop. <laughs> we ain't playing no more tennis, man. That tennis game is over. Yeah, oh. I, I, nah. I, I, if that's what tennis look like, nah. Keep me out of that shit. <laughs> nah. But I it seems like them no niggas control games. your bank account with some shit like that. Oh, oh hell yeah. There's something hell going yeah. on, man. Hell something yeah. going on, and we gonna figure this out. <laughs> we gonna figure this shit out. I'm glad the locks did not go to those parties like that, bro. 
Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank God. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, do y'all got kids, bro? Not me. No. Yeah, I got. I got two. You got teenagers. Yeah, my daughter's teenager. How old is she? Uh, she's fifteen. Oh shit! So you know exactly what I'm going through. Was me yeah, listen, my nigga, this is why I gotta stay home. This, this, this is why. RP Lord superb. Yeah, oh, RP Lord superb. And Bro, I got a daughter Rock. about. I got a daughter and going to college. Then I got another daughter about to graduate high school. Then I got another son that he's about to go into high school. And then I got the three little ones. My son was busting in everything. It's like he I, got the three, I got the three older ones. My son was like, the fuck that. Ones, and then I got the three little ones. It's like they they own. Yeah. It's like they they own group and shit. Because like the three little ones, they, they be together all the time. And then the three older ones. Mm -hmm. be the older ones be, yeah, yeah. That's how it is. Me and my younger brother, we chill. <laughs> we, we good. My older brother, we don't, we don't be chilling like that. That's how it be. Oh, he said he got seven. Now I got, I got six, man. I got four boys, two girls, bro. You said, you said your oldest is how much? How old? Turned eighteen in July. Okay. Yeah. 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 My daughter got three more years to go. She going to college and uh, she going to uh, ODU and shit out here. Mm -hmm. But it's just weird now. Like, damn, like, y'all got fucking kids about to be in fucking college. This shit's just weird. Yeah, man. Time flies, bro. Oh. Like a motherfucker, bro. Oh, flies. Oh, wow. I know how to stretch the day though. You can't you can't sleep like that. You just gotta stay up. Take your nap and stay up. That's how you stretch the day. Whoa. You gotta stay up. Pause. Yeah, <laughs> going there, yo. Yo, but it's like, yo. I had like I had like three kids like back to back to back. Like the last three, same last same chick I, or different 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 ones, right? Now I got two baby mamas. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, you good, nigga? I'm thinking you got four baby mamas. Son. Oh, you all right? No, I got two baby mamas. Oh, all right, yeah. So you, oh yeah, you good? Good. I got custody of the, of the oldest two. What the old? I got custody of the oldest three. Yeah. And then I'll be having to I get the little ones every weekend, but they only live fucking five minutes from me. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you know mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. So I still be going to take these motherfuckers to school, doctor appointments, and all shit like that. Cause it's like they right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. And we cool, like I'm cool. We, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I ain't got no issue like that. Thank God, bro, because I know that shit be fucking in the way, son. That shit be in the way. I ain't got no time for no no baby mama drama and all that stupid shit. Yo, I go to, yo. I'll be like, yo, my boss, be, I'll be like the first one at work. My boss be like, yo, you in here smoked up on some gas. Dude. My, my boss smoking shit. I'll smoke and shit, right? Before work, mm -hmm. I smoke on the way to work. Like smoke like half a half a blunt or some shit. Or I might smoke a blunt and I will smoke like half of it. Where are you right now? I'll, I'll, yo, I'll be having my fucking Versace cologne on that shit. I'll spray the cologne on, smoke a cigarette, and shit go in there. That nigga be like, yo, what the fuck you just smoke? I'm like, damn, why you can still smell that shit? Hell yeah, nigga. Yo, son, and he was talking about like smoke today. Cologne and weed, like that weed smoke. Yeah, only thing I know that gets rid of that weed smell is that um that shit they sell in the car wash for when you accidentally get pulled over by the police. Yeah, they got you like spray that shit in the Cassian, air real quick. Uh, there's another cologne. I forgot the other name. They got the best shit though. 
there's a, there's a few shits. Man, I, I would pay I would pay to get Tay up here. Oh, oh hell yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, and just have her talk. We now we're gonna interrupt her. Give her the screen and just have her go in. I'll pay to have her. Thanks, I, I won't say nothing. Come up here. I won't say nothing. My screen, my screen nothing. will look just like this the whole time. He said I won't say nothing. Yeah, I did I did have this I did have this one kind of one was uh one blood spray and shit. Blunt spray. But I'm I'm more I like I'm not I, the thing about blood spray is I don't spray I'm not sorry, I did, ain't spraying blood spray on me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just spray that shit in my car, like the blood spray shit. I ain't got I be spraying cologne and shit because you're going to work and shit. I ain't mean, I don't know though. I gotta find the right the right blunt spray though. I gotta find the right shit. Some shit they they selling the car washes. I don't know if they got it out there. Some shit. Um, <laughs> I say a bunch some of green brushes. looking shit. I smoke. I smoke. I smoke, well, I smoke going to work. I go to work. I got. I got to see. This is the thing. I got to be to work at six, but to get a good parking spot, you got to get to work at like four forty five, five o'clock. So like, I get there mad early. I'll be sitting there smoking, listening to YouTube, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then I go to go into work because like this is the thing. Yeah, I go into work high as shit, but it's like the job I got. We don't you, you don't go to we don't. I, I got a government job. You know what I'm saying? We don't you, we don't go to work yeah. just because you there at six. You clock in at six. You go right to work type shit. So we sit and chill for like an hour, hour and a half, and be sitting there talking shit. Unless we got like because we got a schedule. As long as we ahead schedule, we could we do it the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Nobody goes to work at fucking for one. Nobody's never there at six except for like me. I'm like what? Are, I'm like the first nigga that's that's there, bro. With a second nigga, like the only there's like the 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 the, the supervisor who's like ab above all of us. He's like the first nigga there because when I go in there in the morning, he's like the first nigga in there drinking coffee and shit. Mm. <laughs> but then I see why he's like the first nigga there because when we because we <laughs> all walk out together. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga will have like comments is will be parked. He'll have like the best parking right. spot, bro. Because I get there at like 445 and I don't get no, I don't get the park nowhere near where he be parking at. That nigga parked like right in the front, bro. Mm. So that nigga, he be getting there like four o'clock, bro. Just be sitting there drinking coffee, chilling, bro. Yo, Hood, would you ever let Scheme live in your basement? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, 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 I'm just asking. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just asking. We'll like if Skin came to you, we'll like, yo, hood, the beef, the beef is over. K tick K um take kick me out. Come please stay in the basement. <laughs> you want you want to do that for him? <sighs> I would need yo, Alan, you gotta be you gotta be it's either you get to work uh. on like and get a decent spot or uh. you be riding around trying to find a fucking parking like, parking is crazy, bro. Shoot. Telling you, bro, that shit is crazy. Scheme, scheme will say the beef is over, only to start it back up again. <laughs> and I like going to work early because I go to fucking. I go to. Uh, nah, me too. I like going to work. Early. I go to Hardy's in the morning and get the monster biscuits, bro. <laughs> go to Hardy's, get a monster biscuit, <laughs> orange juice. <laughs> he was around the corner. Yo, why? Yo, nah, nah, nah. Why you won't let Scheme stay in your basement, man? I don't have a basement. I don't have basement shit, bro. I got a fucking some shit right here. Scheme can go in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little attic or whatever. Yeah. Oh, stay there. Oh. Yo. Nigga said yeah. Tay got that nigga in the basement. <laughs> well, at least when, well, at least he got his own privacy. You know what I mean? So I say, basement is like your own lab, damn near. Can you see well, it? I know mad yeah. niggas that live in the basement. Them niggas be fronting like them niggas got a condo. That's what oh, Scheme, nah. Scheme could go in there. Oh, That's shoot. Nigga. I'm like, my nigga, this is the basement apartment. Stop fronting, son. <laughs> Scheme could go in there. <laughs> niggas be fronting. They be in the basement apartment fronting. Yeah, if but niggas live in the basement acting out, like man. bosses, I don't know. <laughs> he could, there's a little patio he could uh, stay out there. Oh, shit. A little deck and shit. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Nah, he'll be freezing out there too. <laughs> you know, Yo, I remember my man did that. He he had a basement apartment. He got a little lawsuit. He copped a little basement apartment. He hooked it up. He had the polo paint, uh, all that shit. Not, Sandy uh, came and fucked everything up. Damn. No, no basement, Word. <laughs> fucked this whole basement apartment up. Everything. 
Tastes like had the curve TV. Going. He had everything down there. Sandy <laughs> fucked all that up. But yo, I, I did have it one spot. I did have this one spot. Like like what a house I grew up in when I was a kid and shit. We had a basement, but up the basement was the spit side, bro. Damn. Shit, y'all, y'all must have had a lit. The basement was the spit side, son. That's what's up. But now that's like the only yeah. place I ever had to have a basement. Four grown men living there. That's yeah. a lot. Underneath Take the TV, I couldn't get. That's why it's dusty. I can't get crib. my mouth in between that TV before. Yeah. I'm moving. Take out four men staying over there. Then shit. Yo, but that somebody. Who's hitting that? Somebody's it's sneaking over there. Remember, like, it, the it, it gotta guns be guns and shit like that? <laughs> yeah. We used to be running around shooting them shits around in the basement because the basement was big as a motherfucker, bro. Out and you could, like, run around. Like, you, it was like a circle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro. <laughs> it's kind of knocking we down there wilding, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, I, if, I, if, I, if I don't get to work an hour early, I'm not going to, I'm not getting to work. Like my all my like my boss know like I'm gonna be like one of the first niggas there if he don't see me, cause but this is the thing though sometimes I'll get there and I'll just sit in my car to like five fifty five and then I'll go in so I gotta be to work at six, and I'll sit there eat hardies be smoking watching like Drake champs or some shit you know what I'm saying watching YouTube you know what I'm saying, and then I'll go in but then sometimes I'll get there like four thirty four forty five. I'll stop at the little bodega. We got a little bodega out there. I'll go get a, a sandwich and shit. Orange juice yeah. and then fucking, I just go in there and just sit there and be in my phone. Be, you know what I'm saying? Be in my phone. Well, we be, we be chilling though. See, this is yeah. the thing. Where I work at now, everybody cool with everybody. So when we be in there, we be in that bitch laughing, choking. Like, we don't even start work for like an hour and a half. Like, my boss coming in, he don't be, he don't be on your ass. As long as like you working when it's time to like work. He don't give a fuck what else. Like you know what I'm saying? They know. They know. They know that you do YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your boss know. Yeah, we was we was talking about that shit. We was talking about that shit. Matter of fact, we was talking about that shit. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Chris, Chris be in here. One of my, one of my, one of my uh, niggas that I work with. That nigga, Chris, Chris Allen and shit, that be in the chat. Yeah, I work with him. Taste man can do shit because she got an eye on him. <laughs> the other yeah. day somebody noticed me they was like yo you changed bundles from youtube i'm like what the fuck i got scared like what what the f damn bro, I, been at, I been at sneaker events like like, like be watching it's always like it's like like sneakers it's, it's always it's always like that like that but now they now what's it called there was one person that i forgot his name yeah, it was they ran that down on me. Chat. That nigga, oh. that nigga pulled me over Damn. and shit. Like he was like, That's "Yo, crazy. yo, yo." Like, yeah, they ran crazy. down. Yo, I, I got scared. I said, "Yo, I'm normally have a thousand subscribers." They ran over. down it on me. Somebody that I knew, it was Damn. somebody that I knew from YouTube. And shit. I was scared. <laughs> I, I got scared, my nigga. Game was begging earlier, told me my stamps don't hit till five days. <laughs> <laughs> Today's a rainbow, like scheme. <laughs> yeah, yo. The white Henny. Who was there for the White Henny live? Who was there when I did the, when I had the White Henny live? I drank like a bottle of half of White Henny. We was twisted that night, son. That's a classic. That was a classic night. This is Zaya. This is Zaya, bitch ass. If Skay, if if Scheme watching Tay get bust down, then he the new P Diddy, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scheme man. A bitch, bro. <laughs> Scheme a straight bitch. Look at this. I just wonder what that house smelled like, man. <laughs> His cheap rock ain't even painted. Yeah, you man. can see the, the tape on the wall. You nigga punch that nigga into a coma, bro. I let I let God handle that nigga, you heard? I let the higher power handle that stupid nigga, you heard? Word up. Definitely 
after that nigga play by my bombs, I let the higher power take that stupid nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got sickle, whatever that nigga got over there. Seizures. I let the higher power deal with that nigga. You heard? But the rest of these niggas, though, I cook these niggas, though. Being that boy got seizures, I don't even see him as a threat. Like nothing. You know what I mean? Just being real, bro. No, I don't even see boy as a threat. You know what I mean? He's not even a threat to me, bro. You know, he weak to be real. You know what I mean? A nigga that catch seizures, you weak, nigga. You can't even get it on for five minutes, nigga. He'll catch a seizure. You know what I'm saying? That nigga can't even get it on for five minutes with a nigga. Definitely a nigga hitting like a mump and truck. You know what I mean? Nigga, nigga, I know for a fact I hit hard, nigga. I own I, you could believe me, don't believe me, <laughs> cap, whatever you want to say. I know for a fact, nigga, I hit like Thunderbolts, nigga. That's a fact. I always had a crazy overhand right, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the facts, nigga. I always had that. Whoa! Yeah, nigga, look at you. Yeah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I don't look at that nigga like no threat, bro. You know what I'm saying? TMZ ain't no threat. He just a clown nigga to me. You know what I'm saying? Just like China. You know what I mean? Them niggas is just clowns to me, bro. And, you know, at the end of the day, I know what I'm capable of. I know what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't pay them niggas no mind. But this is how you know niggas be way more butt hurt. Cause I'm not gonna post no pictures of a nigga moms and be talking or post videos of a nigga moms and or talk, you know, crazy about a nigga moms. You know what I'm saying? Only thing I do is crack a joke about how I fuck your mother or something if you're being disrespectful to me. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I'm not going to take it outside of a joke of, yo, I swear I fucked your mother or woo doo woo. You know what I'm saying? But uh, these niggas, that's how you know they butt hurt, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, fuck you and Stack Bundle, Strobe Light. What you, what, nigga? Fuck you and hey, fuck you, nigga. And that nigga Stack Bundles, nigga. Fuck Stack Bundles, nigga. But it's okay if you speak on the dead, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay to talk all mom, tough. But it's okay for you to. It's okay to give you a pass to speak on the dead. You talk about fuck the dead. You know the nigga get it, blew his head up, all this stupid shit you were saying. That's okay. But when niggas talk about you, like, bro, fuck your moms, bro. Like nobody gonna fuck about your moms, bro. You think sure. somebody care about your moms, bro? <laughs> How many thoughts around here in this fucking world? <laughs> Shout out to the good women, but do you know how many Thanks. fucking thoughts is out here? There's a There's lot a of lot. them. And it just so <laughs> happens that one is your mom's, nigga. <laughs> we say it's crazy. But this is where we came up for what? When your niggas won't come around. You can stunt, cruise through this bitch if you want. Squad up, a nigga gon' get mad. Some yeah. say it's crazy. But this is where we came up for what? When your niggas won't come around. You can stunt, cruise through this bitch if you want. Squad up. Niggas gon' get up, man. niggas only went to Miss Hayes' funeral to see die old. Very hard back, crab ass niggas, and he thought more. Yeah. Since low died, the five ain't been riding the same. Uh -huh. Lot of niggas broke in the hood that was riding his fame. Uh -huh. Faggot niggas speak to me now, they riding the train. <laughs> well, I don't like my dick roll. I fuck bitches, missionaries, we merchants and missionaries. The riot got bullets for every word in the dictionary. I'm from Ledburn, Richburn, home of the sneak body. Fucked up, had niggas left flakes in the lobby. They hit Mel up, heard about Shami and Gotti. Half my special leg class got snacks for bodies for Rock America. Land to the tie up balls with your right hand to get your ass tied up, boy. It's a mystery what really happened to J Rock. What? Happens up and down the beast, not only on they block. I heard the Stories about the dot eyes, the red eyes, the dead eyes. Any nigga could get it, so I took the red eyes. Bling around here, son, I wish you would. It's the six bro, nigga, welcome to the hood. say it's crazy. But this is where we came up for what? Well, young niggas won't come around. You can stunt, cruise through this bitch if you want. Squad up, a nigga gon' get mad. Some say it's crazy. But this is where we came up for what? Well, young niggas won't come around. You can stunt. Cruise through this bitch if you want. Squad up. A 
nigga gon' get mad Cause the twin fucks up in the head a little worse than the scene Heard he got touched from old school beef with the team Word in the streets, niggas cashed in on shoes You felt that way, why you ain't do nothing to shoot? Sweet Mac was my man, don't get it confused I dab both of them, so when it come to size, couldn't choose Niggas catch the low cases, wanna run and get the streets up Well over thug, we gon' put a nigga feet shoot Said it was good times, legacy lives on Boo riding around with convertible lids on Hate behind your back, but in your face they grinning Hold your head, little homie, they don't like when you win I listen to old heads, so highly about Mosey Give him back to the hood, he keep open the stores I'm the son of a rock, I'm just playing my role Two niggas play their cards while the others are Some say it's crazy, but this is where we came up from Stag Bundles was shot and murdered on Monday morning in the lobby of his project building in Queens, New York. The 24-year-old member of Bird Gang had just returned from a night out when he was shot in the head and neck. The murderer stole only his medallion. Shitty! Baby, you heard about that, baby? <laughs> Shitty! in black places, meet the ghetto, here's where poverty settled, mm -hmm. where homicide is made worse with genocide, cops don't take sides, they relax and chill, watch my niggas in the ghetto. This program contains graphic material, including offensive language. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> nigga, nigga, we was the riot, nigga. We was the riot, nigga. Number one rap team in Far Rock, man. It was nothing like it, man. It was nothing like the swag, the flow, nothing, man. We was far rock, man. The riot. Nigga, when Stack was out there on them cool tapes, tearing shit up, nigga, we was like the next motherfucking G Unit D block coming out of motherfucking Queens. Far rock with Queens, that is, man. Niggas wasn't fucking with the riot, man. Nigga, point blank, period, nigga, the riot was a motherfucking movement, man. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a movement. <laughs> For rock shit. Facts. You already know, nigga. Somebody said French was in them parties too. He just get millions and millions of views since Diddy. Somebody said French parties. He was French was trying to French was French came out on Diddy. Nah, facts. He's he, I mean he started the Cocaine City um DVDs first though. Yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was out. But I'm talking about like his his official album, his first official album. That's that's bad boy, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Excuse my friend. Take that, take that. <laughs> he running around with Diddy Drake. He got his own Ciroc, nigga. Don't even, don't don't French Montana got like yeah. a vanilla Ciroc or whatever. I think I don't know if well, he, he got do, his though. own Ciroc. I thought he got his own Ciroc flavor. Nah, I never heard no news about that one. Hmm. Thought he had like the French vanilla or some shit like that or Nah. Only thing I know, his first album was Excuse My French under the same person. He had, he had a few joints on <laughs> That's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said the French vanilla. They said, yeah. Oh, he did? Own, so French got his own French vanilla flavor vodka. Oh, okay. He probably, he probably had to give Diddy that ass for that, bro. Yo, oh. whatever happened to um whatever happened to Scissor? 
Oh, yeah. Cam had that joint though. SZA was out for like a year, nigga. <laughs> that was that was like a decade ago. Like, yeah, I, I had that decades. shit like one or two times, bro. Like SZA was. I like, never SZA had that shit. Huh? I, I didn't do that. I never either. had that shit. It was a something that was out like really long. Like, yeah, I thought it was cheap. All it was is all it was was like drinking fucking Alize or hypnotic. It's all the oh, that's why that's how it tastes like that. It's all the same shit. The scissor. Scissor was fucking pretty much <laughs> Alize. Purple, purple Alize, my nigga. <laughs> yeah. Remember they had I'm Alize and all. Uh, not what it. Skin yeah, down so Alize bad right now. You riding ten toes. Uh, now they yeah. got. Uh, <laughs> French vanilla, yeah. <laughs> they got all these weird shits, man. I don't know, man. I like drinking Remy. I like drinking. I like drinking Remy or Henny, bro. Mm. I like seventeen thirty eight. I like motherfucking drinking Henny. I don't, I mean, it is what it is. All that other shit, like I'll drink Ciroc and shit time to time, but like I'm, I'm not with all that flavors and French. You know, I don't do all that shit. Man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie though. When that peach Ciroc came, though, when that peach Ciroc came out though. Mm. That piece of rock was my shit, son. When that piece of rock first came out, son, like you couldn't like out here, you couldn't find that shit nowhere, bro. You couldn't Man. find that shit out here, bro. Hey, yo, scheme, holla at me, man. Let you roll something up, nigga. <laughs> Get at me, scheme. We'll let you roll something up, nigga. Oh, ass, nigga. Uh, I'm your scheme. <laughs> you rolling up them little ass ace. <laughs> Dude, the little ass ace won't even get them high enough. <laughs> nigga, that's like, nigga, that, I, that, we even blew that like the first hour and a half. We were like, bro, get out of here. Like, stop playing. With <laughs> Go, do Go do something else that's good for your health, nigga. Yeah, yeah, Puffy gave even... French vanilla. Puffy gave French Montana that French vanilla. Told that nigga, take that, take that, take that. Oh, hell yeah. Bro, if you, you, yo, think, if you, you think you think you think he didn't give that ass up? He, he gave that ass up, bro. To get your own fucking he did. You he know did. Puffy ran through that, bro. If you seen if you seen that picture of French, Chinks, and Diddy, you'll and see French, like and French, French, Meek, and and, 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 and all them all that shit was going on like the same time. They was cool. Probably had a threesome together, bro. To the attorney general. Did, yo, Diddy was like all, all on French, you know, for real. He was backing his ass up on French. <laughs> I'm dropping like it's hot. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> he did, bro. <laughs> that shit is no joke. He 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 he, he laying next to French like he, uh, he having a picnic with him. <laughs> it is real, man. It's contractual. <laughs> Even Ali Vegas said something like that one one point. Uh, as a political forum, you'd have to spectacle them. Happy birthday, Alana. BX dude was scared to say French is freaky. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx ain't it all for no dinner plate. <laughs> French made Puff made French get them braids in his head. Ah, oh, well, we know that already. That's the reason why French is all braided up now. All these niggas be blowing up off other niggas' talent, bro. <laughs> French was living off of fucking chinks. Yeah, facts. Stag, Jim, uh, was Jim living was off living stag. of fucking stacks and max. Facts. Yeah, that shit is sad. By the time motherfuckers really started realizing that chinks is talent, it was like it was, it was like that it was end of his life, you know what I'm saying? It was a rap. Like off the rip, he didn't really that off the rip shit. If you know how big off the rip would have been if he was alive for that shit, bro? Yeah. That shit would have been crazy, son. <coughs> Word. Chinks had so many bangers, bro, with French, but he gave him it's like he gave him all the French Montana, bro. Yeah, I find that kind of suspect too. French's hottest songs are like on what French, right? Whether it's five years, you know, it's too old, but I'm not going to take based on what Rama Tony said. And then French comes with the Coke Boy shit. Yeah. Bro, that Coke Boy shit ain't really like, you know what I'm saying? That shit was chinks in French, bro. 
Exactly. Kinda like it was kind of like Chinks kind of just took the place of Max B because Max B went to the camp. Yeah. And he wasn't there to run around with French. And it was like, all right, well, Chinks is here. He just took the slot Max B was going to have. Mac, that was Max B's slot. Mm -hmm. that. Max probably would have been even bigger than French. Uh, true. I would say Max I'm going to the locks going to be here on the 20th. I'm going to the locks show on the 20th for this month. Oh, okay. Another week and a half or some shit. They ran down on Diddy for that publishing. And, yeah. All right. Diddy, Diddy was holding that publishing. 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 It always got to feature like the people, same people that's relevant or not relevant. French really got his buzz running around with Max, bro. Exactly. It's about this shit. If he wasn't running around with Max, there would be no French. He got French got a buzz running around with Max, bro. Yep. Am I lying? No lies there. It would never been no French without Them Max. Niggas, them niggas, when them niggas did that Coke Wave mixtape shit, that shit yeah. fucking got chicks. That's really, that shit got French notoriety with like the big rappers and shit because Word. Max was still, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Coke Wave shit, like Max was dropping classics at that time. So that Coke Wave is a that's part of Max's ca classic catalog, bro. Coke Wave. Yeah. Right? The first yeah, one, at least, the first one is a classic, bro. Facts. The first one is a classic. The second one is a high. The first one is that shit is a classic, bro. Max Max got a chance to come back and, and see what he's gonna do, man. Yeah, see French did that whole puff French and chinks shit. That was that was suspect a little bit. <laughs> What you think gonna happen now that Max come home? Shit. And French is French is right there with Diddy. Oh man. I don't know. I think Max would be like like in disgust, bro. Max 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 need to come home and fuck with Cam. He need to do that. He need to he need that to 40 do. boys album. He need to yeah, they need to do they need to do that. And he need Max. to come home, drop a mixtape, and do that shit with Cam. Word. But Cam on the sports show now, though. So that so what? You can have Max B come on the fucking sports show. Uh, true. Had that nigga on drink champs and all that shit. He got to hit all the math Hoffa and all that. He, he got to hit all. He got to hit all those. I could see. I could see he Max doing the uh, math Hoffa. Do he got to do the records with like the Dave East. We need like the Dave East Max B. You know what I'm right. saying? We need that. Yeah, we facts. need the Dave. We need a Dave East, Cameron, oh, Max B, Jada Kiss, fucking well, Styles P, crazy. like <clears throat> Cam, Jada Kiss, Max B, and Dave East. All he gotta do is stay away from Jim. That's facts. That's all he gotta do. Shoot, do not shoot. Put my right hand up to that. Nobody's career went yeah, right with Jim. Right. Nobody, bro. Max yeah. B's in jail for was in jail for like forty. You know what I'm like facing fucking seventy five. Max got killed, bro. Where's Mel Matrix in jail? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like nobody's. Where's Where's ja, Where's Lady Jaja? Like where are all these people at? Max, not not even not even now. None of their careers went right with Jim. That is for long term, and that's not none of their careers went right. Sleeping on floors until six nine came to get him, nigga. If he was that nigga, why was he sleeping on floors? Exactly. <laughs> Shoot, Mel and Shotty slept on floors, running with Jim, <laughs> <laughs> running with Jim, <laughs> running with Capo. Defended his report, but that, but that's, but that's the hero though. The hero. So, you guys vote for Trump. I'm not voting for Trump. All that shit is fixed. Bro. Yeah, everything's fixed. Yeah, everybody gonna vote for Biden though. I doubt it. 
I'm voting for chinks. Yeah. I think I'm voting for chinks. <laughs> I'm going to change bundles for president, my name. Can I sign his name in? Can I can I sign yeah. can I sign somebody's name in? Can I sign in the Nas need to promote Dave East more? He got talent. I'm going for chicks. Yeah, me Dave East was running with Nas for a minute. But I can get chicks a couple, I can get chicks a few votes. We gotta get the chicks, chicks, chicks drugs for president. One person got money for the sure. so first person. Chicks uh, uh, strap. Uh, 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 oh, we can, we can, we can, we can vote for scheme. Oh nah, nah, scheme will fuck the whole country up. <laughs> nah. Nah. Scheme for president. Let's get him voted, man. All, all them, all them perks he'll, he'll bring up. Nah. <laughs> all them perks. Nah. I don't know. Look at this clown. Why you keep playing with me? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Hey, fellow, I'm the dude that bought this nigga's channel first. I'm the dude that bought the nigga's channel a while back. Hey, yo, why you keep playing with me? Why why is it? Steve, 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 why is it? I'm trying to ask my question. Guy, I'm trying to ask why is it that every single fucking one of your goddamn supporters has ever given you a good bit of money? Me, Man. I've given I've given you at least five stacks, nigga. Thirty five hundred for that channel that I gave back to you for fucking free. Paid your rent one time, three hundred. I didn't gave you at least five stacks, bro. And I'm not the only person that's ever given you a lot of money. You whine every day, lying on that, Yo, bro. Shit listen, on your supporters. Listen, Every bro. single person that's I ever given you any kind of bag, stop fucking I with you. Why? Shit on my supporters. Why? I shit on my supporters. Okay, you do. You I do shit, shit on, on your supporters. supporters. Why don't none of them fuck with you anymore, then, bro? And how come I none of the people that actually know you, none of the people that actually know you, give you any money? You can't get no money from the people that you actually know. But strangers over the internet will give you money. Why is that the case, bro? And then when them strangers give you money, they stop fucking with you. Why? Call out. Oh, Me. Kavion. All kind of people. Uh, uh, Miss Playful. Uh, uh, Paula. Look, Paula. All kind of people that give you money, bro. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Everybody yeah. realized you was a they fucking clown, nigga. Facts. That's why, nigga. Hey, Everybody realized you was a bitch ass nigga. Hey, I'm riding around level four up, level four up with the chop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the arsonist. He be cooking schemes. <laughs> Facts, man. Scheme been a bitch. That nigga That's scheme, good. though. That nigga ready to kill a troll. Like, he'll kill one of these niggas on the internet, but that nigga won't go ahead and, like, put that same energy in against the money. Shoot. Scheme been a bum since. Oh, oh my cop cut in here. Well, yeah, man. We ain't a building, man. Yeah. Show. He ain't been a bum since, though, man. That's a fact. He's gonna be a yeah. bum the rest of his fucking life. Hey, I got, I got to take doing the energy for, like, $50. If I like twenty, probably like twenty, and it's a food stamps or something like that. Yo, take it at me, baby. Shit. Get you a lobster, and some steak, and some, some shrimp or something. She's tired of eating. <laughs> All they eat is beef stew, bro. Beef stew and roast. I saw that nigga ever be cooking his roast and beef stew. Oh hell no, nah. roast and beef, beef stew. That nigga bro. always. But you notice when he cook, he always jail cook it like in a pot. Jail meals. Damn. Like he in a pot or something, like he like he cooking the witch's brew or something. I never remember, but that boiled pots, bro. Damn. That nigga chopping up potatoes and dropping them in broth, <laughs> vegetables. Nigga don't know how to cook uh, nothing, bro. Oh hell no, nah. That's crazy, bro. Nah, I, I don't want no cooking lesson in scheme. That's one. Nah. You know, you know, I that, know he turned Muslim, right? He said he fasting today. He said he not eating nothing until the sun go down. Yeah, all right. 
funny. He acting like he ain't got a choice. He don't got a choice. He can't eat. So that nigga got to fast. Dude, he, 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 he fasting right now. He can't pay his bill. <laughs> That's fasting. <laughs> That's terrible, dog. Oh, that's terrible, dog. Oh, that's terrible, man. He, he, he bring all the same energy on the internet and have less of it in person. <laughs> Roll up on him. That nigga ain't had no weed. That nigga ain't had no weed in like, like two months. Uh, he, probably, he probably bunny hop for a perk. <laughs> <laughs> like God's son said, you're already scheming and got no choice. <laughs> you got no choice, bro. Yeah, scheme is a bum, broke, bitch ass nigga out here begging. That's all he ain't gonna do, nigga. Every time he ain't I never that, gonna be more than a bitch ass, ass dog, begging. I I just be shaking my head, dog. Like, how you a grown man? You pushing like 50, bro. And you just over here begging. For real, man. I don't know what grown man does that. <laughs> you don't have no shame in me. <laughs> JJ said a scheming boiled rat and potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, yeah. More like a like steamed rat. <laughs> I know. At the end of the day, he got that cat. I know he thought about cooking that cat a few times. He probably like, man, hold on, man. We this cat. <laughs> He was over the cat, man. Cat might Oh, nah. That shit is crazy. <laughs> uh, I can't, bro. That nigga, why? Well, I got a fish tank with no fish. <laughs> <laughs> the skid mark on the wall, too, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Wow. I don't know what the nigga be acting scared why he don't want to come up on the channel. You know he'd go viral if he come up on the channel. Or someone asked him in the chat if he wanted to get a CDL. <laughs> he blocked him. <laughs> Damn, he don't want to get no CDL. <laughs> He's scared to come up here. Nigga ain't coming up here, bro. They gonna be like, bro, you Bird. don't even have an identification card. He blocked me. Damn. I said he don't have a regular license. He blocked me. Mika, he blocked you too? <laughs> that nigga blocked everybody. You know, <laughs> HP. That nigga HP don't even, that nigga HP don't even, don't, he don't even come in the chat no more. Everybody uh, cut ties <laughs> with that nigga, dog. Look at this nigga. Look at him. I'm 5'8". You 5'8"? Why the fuck you look 6'1"? Dude, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm five eight. I'm five eight, bro. Well, I got the pieces. I got the pieces. <laughs> got the pieces. <laughs> yeah, I'm five eight. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, oh, the scheme is five foot eight. <laughs> oh, my God. He's short. Nah, I thought that nigga was tall. Nah, nah, was tall. nah. he my talks like he's tall, bro. though. <laughs> no that's funny. That's my, that's son, my son, nah. My son, nah, he like that height, bro. God Damn. Damn. My little cousin is taller than him. <laughs> that was crazy, man. <laughs> He's been talking crazy like. <laughs> for the weight, man. Nigga, pinky dangling, nigga, pinky dangling in the chair. Acting <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, oh, nigga, he got that. Guy, he got that. He's a run of his team, and he'll be like this tall. <laughs> that nigga got that mic. Chill out, bro. Acting like he got that mic, acting like he doing something. Speaking into the mic, I'm like, bro, that joint ain't changing the value, you ain't changing the sound, bro. It's still sound the same. God damn. Crazy, Yo. Weird, man. Broke boy. He is, Oh, that nigga. That nigga that be nigga cutting himself. Like he a big sir. Like a father. <laughs> Mika said uh, he cutting his own self. <laughs> yeah. He be cutting uh, his own. So. I'm father. Uh, damn. I'm 5'8. You 5'8? Why the fuck you look 6'1? Six, 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 six. I. Dude, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, I'm five eight. I'm five eight. Oh. Bro, all that shit you be talking and you five eight, bro. Chill out, bro. God damn. Just chill the fuck out, bro. You gotta relax, bro. That nigga tall like he five six foot four, bro. Nigga, so five eight. Dude, somebody say he be dangling. He eating from the hot chair. Yeah. My son is fucking five nine, five ten. He's thirteen. That's why he wears that sleeve on his arm. Damn. <laughs> Damn, man. Yo, yo, the funny thing is this, right? Yeah. And this is not even exaggerated. I got kids bigger than Scoob, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Scoob, I, I can literally say I got kids bigger than you, like dead ass. And I, I'm not even joking. Like, I got kids bigger than you, bro. I got a daughter that's fucking shit. She taller than me. Mm. I got kids taller than you. Scheme, <laughs> like scheme. Go, go do something else, bro. I got kids that whoop you, bro. <laughs> yeah, scheme is really a show. I got, I got kids that I'll be more worried about fighting them than fighting you. Scheme, like that ass. <laughs> I'll be, more, I'll be more worried about fighting my son than the scheme. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Shoot, scheme, scheme want to fight somebody else's son, though. That's, that's no, the bad part. Sir. I'd be more worried Let me about get a fighting Medina. my son than fighting scheme, bro. Or my, my daughter. Like, I'd be more packers. worried about fighting. I'd be more scared of them, bro. Dead ass. Facts. Holy shoot. shit, bro. <laughs> But yeah, son said his daughter taller than Scheme. <laughs> Dang. I'm 5'8". Damn, man. You 5'8"? Why the fuck you look 6'1"? My I, whole life for no. That shit is crazy. Heat makers. Crack music. Crack music. <laughs> Get there by midnight, I'm way beyond 12. I ain't coming, I'm jetting. Lay me on bell. My baby mommy asked why I leave the chick. She too good for me. I'm a piece of shit. I'm from these cold streets, fades, braids, and gold thief. Me and monsters circling blocks looking for old people. Surrounded by graveyards and murals. I lost my nigga. Plural. Blood shed and her six, my brain don't want sterile. Great. Plus investigation from the bureau. FBI. But the truth told my lawyer, man, he too cold. But they still snooping around looking for loopholes. Yeah. What you tell them? I know the statue of limitations. A trip to Mexico trying to fight the temptation. They want me back. And raw as they waiting. I look at the phone debating. Please leave me alone, Satan. Can't tell on me all the time, man. All the hustlers rejoice. rejoice. Misunderstood. Get me, but I will fuck TMZ up, bro. Like no guns, no knife, no nothing. Just straight knuckles. Just beat him up. Just punch that nigga out of his socks and sneakers, bro. And keep punching that nigga too. Just don't never stop punching a nigga like that. Like a nigga like TMZ, bro. You punch that nigga, bro, and you just don't stop punching that nigga. You just keep punching him. Knock him out. Wake him up. Knock him out. Wake him up. Knock him out. Wake him up. <laughs> Wait till the summertime and then we pulling up. And then we gonna see what niggas saying and what niggas talking about now. You know what I'm saying? Now I can move around on my own accord. Yeah. I ain't gotta take no bus. And jeopardize myself. I ain't got to take buses jeopardizing myself. You know what I'm saying? Word up. We're going to see now. We're going to see now.
Now we're going to see. Now I can move around how I want to move around. Get I'm coming. We gonna see what you niggas talking about. Yeah, we gonna see. Yeah, I'm gonna get me some vests. I'm gonna boy. We gonna see. We gonna see. I'm gonna come ill prepared. We gonna see, nigga. We gonna see what these niggas talking about. Yeah, what's up? Like, yeah, what's up? We gonna see. I'm coming. Level four it up. All I watch. We gonna see. We gonna see, boy. I'm coming. Level four and up. Oh, all that, nigga. We gonna see what these niggas talk about. <laughs> Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Huh? Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Huh? Are you dumb? Nigga. He's allowed to the fucking building, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Squat the fuck up. Uh, scheme level four kappa. And he keeps talking about my moms. Scheme, your mom never should have had you, nigga. Don't blame me, nigga. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at your moms, nigga. <laughs> Be mad at your moms, bro. You mad at me. What the fuck you mad at me for, bro? Your mother could have swallowed you, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you mad at me for, bro? Your mother could have swallowed you, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you mad at me for, bro? Your mother could have swallowed you, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, time to get it taken down for harassment. Yeah, watch. I, swear, I don't give a fuck what nobody say or think or nothing. What of my mother, I'm going to blick your whole channel, nigga, for harassment, nigga. That's how we going to get you back. That's how we going to get you, nigga. I'm going to get you. son <laughs> they just think this is all funny and game and joke i don't think it's funny and game and joke i know a nigga could do something to me know what i'm saying i know a nigga could do something to me bro know what i'm saying well the mother i know a nigga could do something to me homie you know i don't be motherfucking be running around like a sweet nigga you know what I'm saying? I know a nigga can do something to me, bro. These niggas be... Scheme, your father, anybody can do something to you, man. Like, chill out, bro. Like, yo, calm down, bro. You're like fucking five, six, my nigga. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know a nigga can do bro, you're five eight talking about yo, I know a nigga can do duh. <laughs> bro is crazy, son. <laughs> they just think this is all funny game and joke. I don't think it's funny game and joke. I know a nigga could do something to me. Know what I'm saying? I know a nigga could do something to me, bro. Know what I'm saying? 
funny game to joke. I know a nigga can do something to me. Nah, it's how I'm gonna get it taken down for harassment. Yeah, watch. I don't give a fuck what nobody say or think or nothing. What of my mother, I'm gonna blick your whole channel, nigga, for harassment, nigga. That's how we gonna get you back. That's how we gonna get you, nigga. I'm gonna get you for harassment, nigga. Watch. I don't give a fuck what nobody think, what nobody say. I'm going to blick your shit, nigga, and then I'm going to talk about you every day. Know what I'm saying? After I blick your channel, I'm going to talk about you every day, nigga. Mind my words, I'm going to get you. You're going to be tight. <laughs> You're going to be tight, nigga. Watch. Soon as I get off of this live, nigga, I'm going to air you out. Soon as I get off this live stream, son. Word of my mother, soon as I get off this live stream, I'm going to clip your whole shit. Remember I said that shit. Remember I said it. We're gonna see who get we gonna see who get the last laugh. Word. Hold on, let me see if I could do it while I'm on live, bro. Let's see if I could do that shit while I'm on live. Get into this shit right here. You know what I mean? And if I ever see that nigga ever, son. I swear to God, if I ever see TMZ, bro, I'm going to kill that nigga. I don't give a fuck who the fuck heard me say it, nigga. If I ever see TMZ, I'm going to murder that nigga brutally. Word. No gun either because he a bitch. I'm going to stab that nigga and stab that nigga and stab that nigga and stab that nigga. Word up, son. Word. Nigga be thinking nigga be playing, homie. Word of mother, son. I don't even need no gun. I'm going to stab. I want him to feel that shit, you heard? When I'm killing that nigga, I want him to feel it, you heard? Word of my mother, son. Word, son. Word. You know what I mean? And if I ever see that nigga ever, son, I swear to God, if I ever see TMZ, bro, I'm going to kill that nigga. I don't give a fuck who the fuck heard me say it, nigga. If I ever see TMZ, I'm going to murder that nigga. They can't even make a dub on this shit, man. The fuck I look like this. Keep coming on this shit, man. Once I get my, once I get in position, nigga, fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't bring me nothing but turmoil you and headaches, nigga. Headaches, turmoil you, beefing with a bunch of bitch-ass niggas that I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? This shit just point me a bunch of dumb shit. I mean, beefing with a bunch of hoe ass niggas you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna make you kill them, nigga, fucking with this internet shit. So that nigga gonna be in jail the rest of their fucking life, nigga. Somebody gonna make you kill a motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, word up on some real shit. Real shit, son. Somebody gonna make you kill a motherfucking ass, man. I don't care about more, bro. Hood TMZ? You still playing? You know I could, I could, you know I could block your channel again. You want to play? Hold on. Hold on, nigga. Hold on. You want to play, right? That's a fact, crook, you heard? That's a fact, nigga. What the fuck with none of these niggas talking about? God, nigga. Word, I don't give a fuck what these niggas talking. Niggas can say whatever the fuck they want to say, you heard? Know what I'm saying? That's my motherfucking moms, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Niggas playing games with my moms. We're going to see how funny that shit is when these niggas come knock on your door and they got a warrant out for your fucking arrest, nigga. Fucking pervert. Word, nigga's a fucking pervert, man. Know what I'm saying, niggas? I want you to get your ass up today. Go out and look for a job. The fucking YouTube is gonna be going no fucking work, nigga. The word today is job, J-O-B. 
You hear me? What you talking about, nigga? Watching every other YouTube channel eat, nigga. I gotta go to work. Nigga, what? That just make me realize that my YouTube channel fail is a failure, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go to the job today. Fuck about y'all niggas thick ass shit. Hood TMZ, suck my dick, nigga. You heard? Hood TMZ, suck my dick, nigga. You heard? Yeah, suck my dick, nigga. Come do something about it, pussy nigga. And I ain't like it, faggot. Blow your head off right at the door steps of work, nigga. So now we know you making these videos without having brushed your teeth. If you ain't got no water, you ain't brush your teeth. You be smoking cigarettes. How you take a shit you don't hit your hiney? Take a shit you don't hit your hiney? Or do you? But you can't with no water in there. How you flushing the toilet? Just shitting in bags in there? Throwing it outside? Blame it on somebody's dog. Let me find out. You got shit trails on your block. <laughs> me, I call for a measly two, three hundred dollars, bro. I get the talk of the century. Oh, what you need two, three, four hundred dollars for? You doing up? Yo, son, these niggas act like I ain't got no sewer, lights, gas, water, electric. All that shit separate, nigga. All that shit separate, nigga. Water, light, gas, sewer. All that shit separate, nigga. Rent. All that shit separate, nigga. Car note. I can't even pay this month, nigga. I can't even pay my car note this month, nigga. Like, hands down. Ain't nobody coming at. Bell me out. Help me. Nothing this time, nigga. If he come take the car, he just take the car. I'm tired, nigga. Like, hey, fuck it, nigga. He come take the shit, he just come take the shit, nigga. Word up. I'm tired, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm dead ass. I'm tired, bro. I'm mine. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm fucking tired, bro. They dumpster, dumpster as hell, but whatever a nigga is up, I'm the first one they hit up. Saving the day and shit. Now, see me, I'm not doing that, homie, you heard? Whenever I get all the way up, I swear to God, son, or my grandmother. Yeah. I got two <laughs> questions. What is he tired of doing? <laughs> and he keeps talking about once he gets all the way up. How are you getting all the way up? How are you getting see. all the way up if you don't do anything? And what are you tired of doing? Because you don't do anything. Shoot, he, he got to be day. tired of begging. How are you? What are you tired from? You can't even make three dollars. <laughs> 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 He's just a bum, bro. That's it. <laughs> yeah. He's a bum. Yeah, me could sum it up perfectly. Tired of begging. <laughs> begging. I just couldn't even support the channel. Put that kid on with you. <laughs> shit, shit, how are you going to get all the way up? How are you going to get all the way up? Making four blocks a day in the basement, stressful. Yo, 
How are you going to get all the way up when you don't do nothing all day to make any money or do anything? How do you think that magically one day you're going to wake up? They'll be like, no, today's the day I'm all the way up. What, is that? what the fuck? How are you getting there, Steve? You got to be realistic, man. I don't understand that nigga either. Keep talking about, as soon as my bread comes, you'll get some money. I'm going to pay a couple hundred grand. <laughs> yeah, hundred hundred grand my ass. <laughs> oh shit. Well having the forty K. He ain't get that either. <laughs> he ain't get no four hundred K either. <laughs> he ain't gonna be lit for nobody. <laughs> crack, bro. He got that eighties crack, bro. This nigga right. got that got good shit, bro. That nigga got that good shit, bro. That forty k ain't pop, moms, nigga. She shriveled up, nigga. Word. He need to go Leave see his mom, alone, bro. Instead Sweet of talking weed, tough. <laughs> Leave that crack alone. Look at this man. Look at this nigga. Uh, nigga, and I'm gonna pause it. I don't give a fuck. I ever run into somebody, nigga. They going to the hospital. I hope they gonna send me to the hospital because I know I'm gonna send them to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up, nigga. I hope that that's not what they think, nigga. Because I see y'all. I got bail money and lawyer money now too. I will. Fucking kill you, nigga. I will do something to you so bad out here, boy. <laughs> and I can bail out now. <laughs> Woo! So listen, y'all niggas tell KV on, right? That's what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to tell KV on, right? To pull up on my channel. Since he always on my dick, tell him to face me. When his pussy ass go live, tell him to come up here. On my live stream and face me, you heard all these niggas, TMZ that be on my dick, come up here, face me, right? Show me where you live at. On oh, my grandfather, Bo, and on my grandmother, I'm gonna come to that nigga crib when my taxes drop. Word, that's all he gotta do. All he gotta do is do this, bro. And you want to use his grandparents oh like this. <laughs> you want to use his deceased oh grandparents. I'm going to go put the G. Look before me. Ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> Please. All you got to do is show me where you live in. <laughs> I have this 400K in my ass. <laughs> Yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> he stayed lying on his Yo, mom. Yo, man, y'all can't even make this shit up, bro. <laughs> Dude, it's my Texas truck. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah when that's it's... my next live. That's what I'm crying. Make sure y'all hear the ball, man. As soon as my taxes drop. <laughs> yeah, I heard. You're going to be like, yo, after my yeah, taxes man. drop. Yo, we will be live tomorrow. As soon as my yeah. taxes drop, man. Part one. <laughs> yeah, <excuse me. laughs> this man has been talking about taxes for like three years, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's taxes ain't dropping. <laughs> Yo, this oh, dude shit. is crazy. This man really thought he was going to file some kind of business and they was going to give him 400000 yeah, if they'll give you four hundred thousand, I I can I'm going to get a million. Yeah, if they'll give you four hundred thousand, I, I know I'm going for like one point five, bro. <laughs> <Hurt. laughs> <laughs> when the taxes drop, bro. You thought, you, yo, this nigga is crazy. Bro. When the <laughs> soon as my taxes drop, what year scheme? Because you say this every year, yo. In fact, every year when his taxes drop, he's gonna do this. <laughs> That. And then the whole year comes by, nothing happens. Word. <laughs> then he goes into another year. Taxes. <laughs> taxes. Shit. This whole taxes drive. You're I'm right. <laughs> I'm popping up with, with the Call of Duty guns. <laughs> yo, bro. I, yo, I get those up. guns. I tap out, bro. I tap out, my nigga. Like. <laughs> 
Yeah. He, shoot, he, he, he went on the internet. He wins. Yo. I'm 5'8". You 5'8"? Why the fuck you look 6'1"? I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 5'8". I'm 5'8", bro. Lord, I got the pieces. I got the pieces. <laughs> got the pieces. Yeah, I'm 5'8". Yeah, I'm 5'8". Yeah, I'm 5'8". Yo, but I was trying to scream no before the video. The shit, Word. the shit. He he took it. He took it off alive. That's that shit is wild. I, I ain't get to see the whole shit. That shit is wild. Took it off alive. That's that shit is wild. I ain't see the I ain't see the whole shit. The nigga, he took the shit. He took the shit off alive. Probably don't want niggas to know <laughs> that he ain't getting his taxes ever. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm dying. My taxes, <laughs> my taxes drop. It's go to line. You can't file for taxes from YouTube. You don't pay taxes. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Can you file taxes if you're on public assistance? I'm just asking my boy. I'm coming with the love of four bears. I'm coming with the love of four. Level four guns, level five my vests. <laughs> you niggas want to play my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, niggas, that nigga ain't gonna have a sax file. Where's you your mother at get... anyway, my nigga? Like back on her knees. <laughs> shoot, he shoot, he need to go see his mother. Go see your mom, bro. She probably Facts. back on her knees, bro. Facts. Scheme was like a hoe on Ten Toes Live. I don't care what you say. <laughs> you keep talking about my mom. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, bro, fuck your fucking mom, bro. <laughs> the fuck is you gonna do, nigga? Shoot, bring Tay up here. Nothing, nigga. <laughs> so it's okay for you to talk about the dad, but nobody can talk about your mom, bro. Exactly. Bring Tay up here. Known crackhead. It's not he like making up anything on her. She's a known crackhead, bro. That's how I'm gonna get it taken down for harassment. Yeah, watch. I don't give a fuck what nobody say or think or nothing. What of my mother, I'm gonna blick your whole channel, nigga, for harassment, nigga. That's how we gonna get you back. That's how we gonna get you, nigga. I'm gonna get you for harassment, nigga. Watch. Don't give a fuck what nobody think, what nobody say. I'm going to blick your shit, nigga, and then I'm going to talk about you every day. Know what I'm saying? After I blick your channel, I'm going to talk about you every day, nigga. Mind my words, I'm going to get you. You're going to be tight. <laughs> You're going to be tight, nigga. Watch. Soon as I get off of this live, nigga, I'm going to air you out. Soon as I get off Get into this shit right here. Know what I mean? And if I ever see that nigga ever, son... I swear to God, if I ever see TMZ, bro, I'm going to kill that nigga. I don't give a fuck who the fuck heard me say it, nigga. If I ever see TMZ, I'm going to murder that nigga. Oh, God damn. Woo, got too many more, boy. Woo. I'm gonna I'm kill him over side, boy. This nigga got me doing this thing. Ah, that's 35, nigga. Ah, woo! Ah, that's 37. What the fuck y'all counting, bro? What the fuck? Yo, fuck all of y'all, nigga. That's took his. Yeah, oh, man, struggling <laughs> to do thirty-five four... push-ups, but you talking about you could box and fight somebody? You can't <laughs> even do fucking forty push-ups without struggling. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. god, yo, he... <laughs> like he like he arching his back doing his push-ups, yo. <laughs> what is wrong with that nigga? Look at him. Oh, god damn! Oh, too many more, boy. <sighs> 
you wouldn't have lasted in the military with me, bro. Like you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have lasted, bro. That shit that you do, <sighs> they'd have got rid of your ass quick. Nigga can't even I'm, do push up. Look at that. This nigga bro. got me doing this thing. I was in the military. They're not letting <sighs> me do that. That's thirty five, nigga. Look at this nigga. That's thirty five. <laughs> Oh my god, that nigga like he went to Pete Diddy party too, bro. Now think about my it. <laughs> my back ain't right here. Come on, man. I can't be this fat ass. Yo, that nigga basically, oh, yo, he just do like two push ups and gave out. <laughs> His whole back gave out, bro. It's 34. <laughs> <laughs> It's 46 push-ups, bro. <laughs> Yo, that is a plan. Yo, ski, man. I'm done. I'm you be making this shit funny for us, man. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> be laughing at your ass on a daily basis, bro. The facts. Grown man can't even do 40 push-ups. Grown man's talking about how he can do this and he'll do that, but he can't even do 40 push-ups without struggling, bro. Facts. Can't even do 50 push ups without arching his back. <laughs> bro, you can't even do 40 push ups, bro. Look at Facts. Bro. The sad thing is, you can't even, you can't do 40 push ups or show niggas $40. Nigga. Facts. <laughs> can't show y'all the name that fouled it for me, but. That's. Y'all see that? Scheme team since 2000? Accepted by the IRS? Yeah, do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Scheme team accepted by the IRS? Yeah, y'all can stop hating, man. It's, it's over. You know what I'm saying? That nigga getting heads, nigga. It's over, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, ain't no scam. Scheme team ain't going to no jail. None of that, nigga. Flossing legally, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. What you gonna say now, China? Nail your mouth? What you gonna say when a nigga a couple gr few hundred grand up on you niggas? What you niggas gonna say then? Huh? I wanna know what you niggas gonna say. What's Zip gonna say? Hmm? 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 What's Zip gonna What China gonna say? What KV on gonna say then? What all these lame niggas that be riding and peddling balls going to say then? What they going to say? What they going to say? What I saw Campbell going to say? I ain't going to need your help, nigga. F your help, nigga. About to set up my life. Yeah, nigga finna set up his life, boy. Sure. Nigga finna get their life on track, boy. Sure. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> It's been a long time coming, boy. And you know what's crazy? I'm glad I'm getting this as an older male, as an older nigga. I'm glad I'm getting this, boy. Because I know what to do with it. I know what to do with it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad I'm getting this blessing late in life to be able to make moves so... Whenever I do perish and leave this earth, I can set my nieces and my nephews up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Set my nieces and my nephews up to be straight. And that's what this is all about, man. Um, people lost sight of a lot of things, bro. And one of them is passing down things to your relatives when you die. You know, that's 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 a practice that's like long gone, homie. Like I don't care back then if if your if your rel if your if, if your moms or your grandmoms just left everybody fifteen, twenty thousand, they left you something, your I don't care if it was just a house, you know, um they left you something, kid. These people today they just dying in vain. That nigga ain't going. That nigga ain't going. Leave no inheritance. Get out of here with that shit. Yo.
He just said, I don't care if they left you 15000 I don't care if it was just a house. What are you leaving anybody? <laughs> Shoot. Or, no, nobody nobody want to crush his dreams. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> this man is such a hypocrite, bro. You sitting up here oh, wow. about to leave nobody nothing. <laughs> but you got the nerve to talk about somebody should have left you with a house. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about he gonna set something up <laughs> great. <laughs> like that's just cap. <laughs> Ew, okay. Ew. <laughs> Ew. You're not even about to leave because somebody like bro, what are you leaving anybody but debt, bro? You're not leaving <laughs> anybody a house. They're gonna leave him with debt. Leaving nobody, no fifteen thousand. Facts. They're gonna <laughs> so leave him with hypocrite. Of what, are you talking, what are you saying, bro? So these people just out here dying, leaving me nothing. Shoot. See, I, what I, are you about to leave somebody? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they probably, probably leave him begging. Shoot. <laughs> begging in the street. Like, Set up my life. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like on live today, begging, begging for donations. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, even fix Flex's muscle. Yo, that <laughs> <laughs> I man he gonna, ain't gonna leave that. <laughs> 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 Sleeps in the basement talking about I'm gonna shit up my life. <laughs> when <laughs> shoot oh, shoot it shit where's the inheritance <laughs> off the of bag? Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Yo, oh. if anything, you're gonna make me fall into a seizure laughing at your ass, bro. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm about to shut my life on. <laughs> <laughs> It's all about my nieces and nephews. <laughs> <coughs> oh, you gonna leave that bullshit? The way I'm gonna You gonna have Yo, a, 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 <laughs> You ain't about to leave nobody no money. Exactly. You're not leaving nobody no house. <laughs> ain't leaving nobody with no whips either. <laughs> Yo, man. And level four vests. <laughs> this man just sitting here talking about. Damn. This nigga sitting here talking about, yo. <laughs> you better have to do nothing. I don't care if it was a house. <laughs> <laughs> yo, JJ said, uh, Scheme going to leave the whole family begging on YouTube. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's what you're going to leave them doing. <laughs> I don't care if it's 15,000. <laughs> <laughs> it left us out there. And we bought taxes, Joe. <laughs> when his taxes come. <laughs> Yo, Ski, bro. Nobody want to hear about your taxes, man. <laughs> Nigga up here. Talking all this, you about to get four hundred thousand, but then like uh, two weeks later, you up there crying, can't pay a hundred and twenty dollar phone bill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but he going he gonna cop some fifty dollar hats though. <laughs> if they come get the car, they come get it. <laughs> I'm tired, man. <laughs> I'm tired. Word. I can't keep doing this, man. It's called scheme. The people, the people under the stairs. Yo, yo, scheme, bro. <laughs> you realize they can just laugh at you all day, bro. <laughs> Look how confident he was when he said, I'm about to set up my life. Yeah. He yo. did. I got all confidence. <laughs> my next live is going to be when my taxes drop. And then the, the next live after that is going is to be called when I set up my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the funniest line ever. <laughs> funniest line ever. <laughs> when I set up my life. 
<laughs> doing, 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 doing them bumming his push ups. Yo, ski, bro. I'm done. Shout out to y'all. Oh, I'll make a real shit. <laughs> You got me crying tears, bro. Bro, man said that's 35. <laughs> he said it too, like it was something big, too. It hurt. <laughs> oh, shit. Come now, on, now, forgive me, Mel. It's going to be in that hot ass pool. <laughs> you deserve it, daddy. I'm fucking me, bro. <laughs> Oh, you didn't leave no full vests, no whip whoppers, no bees, no nothing. Yeah, you ain't leaving no whips. Oh, no houses. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be in stitches. <laughs> or he he said he was big in his bag. Pause. Yeah, he gonna leave his chin until I tell you to hold it down. <laughs> What that nigga said? I'm trying to get this thing out of my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to set out my life. <laughs> Yo, bro. Does this, this do you go back and rewatch anything that you do, bro? <sighs> that nigga don't I I, I I hardly think he do that. <laughs> That's why he'd be mad at me, man. Because I'd be making that nigga live in his... He got to live in his moments, bro. A word. The dumbass moments that him and Bullets got any stupid niggas do, I make these niggas live it, relive it over and over and over. These niggas... He, he, he want to kill himself, man. <sighs> For real, man. He, he probably got to find some rats. Which that. one? Which one? Which one, Mika? Hold on. Is it this one? <sighs> Can't show y'all the name that fouled it for me, but that's y'all see that scheme team since two thousand accepted by the IRS. Yeah, do y'all see that? Do y'all see that scheme team accepted by the IRS? Yeah, y'all can stop hating, man. It's it's over. You know what I'm saying? And nigga getting heads, nigga. It's over, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, ain't no scam. Scheme team ain't going to no jail. None of that, nigga. Flossing legally, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. What you going to say now, China? Nail your mouth? What you going to say when a nigga a couple grew up? A few hundred grand up on you niggas. What you niggas going to say then? Huh? I want to know what you niggas going to say. What Zip going to say? Hmm. 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 What's Zip going? What China going to say? What KV going to say then? What all these lame niggas that be riding and peddling balls going to say then? What they going to say? What they going to say? What I saw Campbell going to say? I ain't going to need your help, nigga. F your help, nigga. About to set up my life. Yeah, nigga finna set up his life, boy. You're bigger finna get their life on track, boy. You're it's been a long time coming. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, boy. And you know what's crazy? I'm glad I'm getting this as an older male, as an older nigga. I'm glad I'm getting this, boy. Cause I know what to do with it. I know what to do with it, bruh. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad I'm getting this blessing late in life to be able to make moves so whenever I do perish and leave this earth, I can set my nieces and my nephews up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Set my nieces and my nephews up to be straight. And that's what this is all about, man. Um, people lost sight of a lot of things, bro. And one of them is passing down things to your relatives when you die. You know, that's 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 a practice that's like long gone, homie. Like 
I don't care back then if if your if your rel if your if, if your moms or your grandmoms just left everybody fifteen twenty thousand they left you something your I don't care if it was just a house you know um, they left you something kid these people today they just dying in vain they ain't got nothing for their kids they ain't got nothing for their relatives they just dying and we gotta bury them you know what I'm saying so I want y'all to sit back and think about that for a second like son we gotta bury majority of our relatives that die because they don't have nothing they don't even don't have no life insurance so the family 85 percent of niggas families out here gotta go to the other relatives and scrape up money 200 300 500 000, 2, 000, 5, 000. niggas gotta go and scrape that money up to bury a nigga, bro, and to have a funeral, homie. So the average funeral was about $20,000, homie. The average joint, unless you get cremated and you get cremated for about $2,500. You know what I'm saying? The average funeral cost is about at least 10 to 15 grand, bro. Man, like off the rip. The average joint is at least 10, 15 grand burial and all that stuff. Yeah, man. Casket and, you know, all that stuff, bro. A lot of people lost sight, man, of the old mechanisms as far as when you get something substantial. Y'all going to see I ain't just running my mouth when I get. Boy, the first two things I'm doing is going to buy a house. And I'm going to do a will. I'm going to put my, my nieces and my nephews on there. Do a will, put my nieces and my nephews because I don't got kids. So I'm gonna put my nieces and my nephews on on my will. So when I die, they get whatever houses that I bought. You know what I'm saying? Like that ass. You know what I'm saying? Whatever property that I've invested in or whatever. You know what I'm saying? My nieces and nephews is gonna get that shit. You know what I'm saying? The most responsible ones is gonna get it. Right. Teach you can't do a afford push to get your nieces and nephews Teach a do a push up. meal from McDonald's, nigga. <laughs> Teach me how to do a push-up. Can't even... <laughs> Talk about he gonna leave them houses. He can't even give them... Number... He can't even give them a number, number two from McDonald's, bro. But you leave them a house. <laughs> yeah, can't even give them a Big Mac. <laughs> my nieces and my nephews. <laughs> he said in another video that nobody is getting anything. It hurt. <laughs> Scheme on to give nobody nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Yo, bro. Y'all got me up here dying, bro. Uh, I'm about to get off this live. Do what I got to do. Salute, Stay chat. Out here, uh, Stay out here, my nigga. Likewise, Jesus. You already right, know, squad. Right. Shout out to Chase, man. Shout out to Chase, Mac. <clears throat> Shout out to Brandon. You know how we do. Come up here and just chop it up and be laughing, my nigga. Yeah, this nigga ain't got twenty dollars from me. You say you won't give me you leave you ten thousand, fifteen thousand, you leave you something. What are you leaving somebody, my nigga? But a headache, nigga. Talking about you gonna leave niggas houses and all this, like bro. You can talk with the best of them, my nigga. Niggas crazy. Talking about I'm fine. Y'all gonna see my left hand. Y'all gonna see. I'm five eight. You five eight? Why the fuck you look six one? Six, two, I do. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, bro. You were the funniest nigga on the internet, bro. This shit is hilarious, bro. You are the hell you are funny as fuck, bro. <clears throat> Niggas just laugh at you and smoke all day. While you stomp. <laughs> I'm trying to get the little homies from me, man. <laughs> get a job then, bitch. In your crib with the lights off. They seen you in your crib with the lights off you 40 something years old. <clears throat> they seen you in your crib with the lights off you 40 something years old. They seen you in your crib with no heat. And a whole freezing, snowing in your house. I think somebody that's in position to let you hit a lick is gonna let you hit a lick. Anybody you ever come around, you named yourself Scheme Team. You cursed yourself. You cursed yourself. They say words have power. <coughs> cursed yourself. <coughs> You a scheming, conniving, scoundrel. You curse yourself. So you do probably sit in there scheming. No, no for perks. Smile when I got the blood. <laughs>
because niggas stop supporting my channel. So let's get this perfectly clear for all the bloggers who probably screen recording me. Get this down. I left because I'm in a broke ass part of YouTube. Dirty ass section of YouTube. Broke supporters. Happen by. Hit the like, guys. Please share the stream. He's got Tay Tay, his cousin, contacting me. Hey, yo, can you, um, can you do something for Scheme Team? This, this, this Tay Tay, Scheme's cousin. You know, that cock eyed motherfucker. Fuck her too, bitch, because I heard you talking shit about me in the motherfucking background while this nigga was talking shit. All right? So fuck you too, Tay. All right? Fuck you too, Tay. Even though we had a good conversation, bitch. All right? We had a good conversation. Talking about scheme team, uh, uh, ideas for scheme, you know, ideas for the channel. You heard me saying I, I would promote the niggas channel. You heard how cool I was trying to be with that dude. You heard how straight laced and straightforward I was trying to be with that dude, man. And you know how dirty this nigga was trying to do me, Tate. And, uh, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. I guess you need his little. What you think about scheme team blogs? I don't know who that is. Oh, you talking about the, the, the nigga, he look raggedy and shit. His fit is always disheveled and shit. His hair be looking funny and shit. That nigga need to get a job, yo. He got one of the worst vlogs online, yo. Like, niggas talking about Troy Adams running around a car and all that shit. I don't know the guy, man. His criteria, he shit corny. Niggas always talking about jail and real rights. Niggas don't even be having no fucking money. I don't fuck with the nigga channel. I think that shit pathetic. Yo, Gully TV, I don't know you, bro. Why you on your channel dissing me, bro? Gully TV clean. Nothing, nothing, bro. Nothing, bro. You know I'll be violating like that in hopes one day a nigga get the heart to say, yo, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to slide on that nigga. I'm going to highlight at that nigga. That nigga be, cr that nigga be talking all that crazy shit. I'm going to see what that nigga built like. I'm, I'm, I'm dying to show you. I am. I don't got nothing to lose out here, boy. I'm dying to show one of you niggas that I kill you. I'm doing fucked up, boy. Boy got his car took. Yeah, it's a fuck out of here, nigga. That's all y'all coming here for, nigga. And that's going to be on the list next. My car getting took, but it's all good. I'm going to bust the tires. I'm going to break the windows and all that shit before they come get that shit. Before they take my car, I'm going to fuck that car up. Word up. I'm not going to feel like I just lost $4,000 for no reason, bro. Fuck you, man. I'm not grateful. Suck my dick, nigga. Ain't nothing grateful about working for nobody as a slave, bitch, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Ain't nothing fucking grateful about working for a nigga as a slave, you fucking bitch. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Suck my dick, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Stupid ass, nigga. Man, fuck all y'all niggas with y'all fake ass words of wisdom, nigga. Half of y'all bitch ass niggas don't even got no job, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. All y'all fake ass words of encouragement, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. Don't none of y'all niggas fucking mean me no good, nigga. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying, Ronald? Don't none of these bitch ass niggas mean me, mean me, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mean me no good, nigga. Fuck out of here with y'all fake ass fucking um, concerns and fake ass applauses and all that suck my dick nigga you know what i'm saying real nigga shit nigga suck my this nigga be biting my content bro i don't know what's wrong with this nigga this nigga be waiting for me to get off live so he could go on his channel and talk about what i was just talking about like this nigga is so lamed out bro like i don't like that nigga boy like for real son like boy a boy a dead Boy, a dead bite, like, dead bite my whole swag, like, bite my whole Johnson, bro, like, what is wrong with this, man? Like, get your own swag, bro. Search for your own things to talk about, homie. You ain't got to keep biting me, bro. What's wrong with you, bro? Lame-ass nigga, boy. Word of God, bro, on Jesus Christ sandals and Latter-day Saints. Boy, China is so much of a bozo. If I ever see China, bro, if I ever see you, China, mark my words, bro. I'm going to do something to you, nigga. If I ever see you, homie, you are, yo, I can't, yo, I can't believe how niggas be so in tune with a clown, bro. Like, it just mind boggles me, bro. Like, no real niggas is really winning on the tool, bro. It's all niggas with gimmicks, lies, fronting, 
just like, yo, word up, bro. Like, that's crazy, bro. Ain't no real niggas winning on here, bro. It's all fake niggas with gimmicks and, and lies and... This nigga always blogging about math. You don't even know math, bro. You don't even know the homie. You always blogging about the nigga, bro. You, what's wrong with you, son? You don't even know the nigga. I don't know, nigga. You telling me he don't live with his girl. I don't know, nigga. Stop making up shit, bro. You ain't got no evidence to that, nigga. You just making up shit, man. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> you talking about he don't live with his girl no more? How the fuck you know that, nigga? He's staying with Platinum Sean. This nigga just making up shit. <laughs> nigga play with sports bet with. My fingers. I'm a sports bet with. I'm a sport bet with. We're on sports bet with, bro. Like, hmm? Fucking broke, nigga. What I'm, what I'm sports betting with, bro? My whole life is fucked up right now, bro. Like, what, what, what are you talking about right now? <laughs> What are, you, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> fucking sports bet. You think sports betting is on my fucking mind right now, son? With all this shit going on around me, son? You think sports betting is on my mind, son? <laughs> Nigga, it's crazy, son. All these problems that I'm facing, you think I'm thinking about a fucking DraftKings or FanDuel sports bet betting, bro? That's what you go, bro, man. Yeah, he did a lot of clowns, bro. He did a lot of clown stuff, bro. That I never forget that nigga for. If I ever see that nigga in life, nigga, word of everything. I don't care how old he is or nothing. Niggas, niggas gotta pay for their sins, yo. Word of everything I love, homie. Nigga better not ever see me and think it's teeth. And think it's all teeth. He nigga better not. Made my five bucks, kid. Made my five bucks. There go my quota right there, bro. That shit crazy, son. <laughs> that shit is crazy, bro. I'm the only nigga, son. They be doing this shit too, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm the only nigga. Papa Doc, man, I don't give a fuck what you talking about, nigga. You ain't never donated on my channel, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I give a fuck what you talking about, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, give a, f give a fuck about you, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. How you like those apples, nigga? <laughs> give a fuck about you, nigga. You ain't important on this channel, nigga. <laughs> Move around, <laughs> move around, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Not important on this joint. Hey, nigga, know what I'm saying? I run across any of them niggas, nigga. It don't even matter what year or nothing. I run across any nigga that participated in that shit, nigga. We gon' we gon' bump. You know what I'm saying? That's it, nigga. You know what I mean? Any of them niggas, any of the main participants that was jacking that shit or with that shit or any of that shit, I ever bump into them niggas. Nigga, them niggas know the vibes. Them niggas know my body. I ain't really got to say nothing, but them niggas know, boy. That's a fact. If niggas know anything about me in the street, nigga, they know something about me, nigga. Like, nigga, nigga, yeah, I'll, what's up? What you going to do, nigga? What you going to do? What am my mother, nigga? I'll them niggas be scared, nigga, because them niggas, them, yo, bro, man, them niggas be scared the whole heat. On my grandmother grave, them niggas be scared the whole heat, boy. 
They be scared to death to walk around with that heat, boy. Oh, God is my witness, nigga. Them niggas don't be having no heart. Them niggas be scared to death to get caught with them grips. <laughs> Niggas talking about, nigga. Niggas can't blemish my record, nigga. Like, nobody can't tarnish, nigga. I let niggas talk and make up shit and do all that shit there. But, you know, the truth is the truth, bro. You know, niggas could tell a bunch of lies. Niggas know I hurt something, nigga. In the penitentiary and in the street. Niggas know I'll flock your ass, nigga. Fuck you talking about in the street or in the pen, nigga. It don't matter, nigga. You play with me in here, nigga. And the pen is a little different. It's a little worse. Because if you play with me, nigga, and you make me feel threatened, nigga, I'm going to get on your body, nigga. Word up. Knife, brick, fist. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, word. Scalpel, razor. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? That's true. The first way to stop you would be to stop your bag. Yeah, that nigga's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't put that shit past that nigga, Ken. That nigga's a bitch, you heard? Them niggas is bitches like that. You know what I'm saying? Lame-ass nigga contact a nigga that, you know, got support my channel to tell a nigga don't support me and all this sucker shit that I got shot. And <laughs> you... This is coming from a nigga that was a bitch up north. You know what I'm saying? This is this is this is this is coming from a nigga that was a bitch up north. In the chat, bro, I don't even want to talk to y'all niggas, homie. You know what I mean? And I'm just keeping it real, bro. Word up, son. If you if you if you not one of my niggas. Or a wrench or something. I don't even want to talk to y'all niggas, man. Y'all niggas is some hating ass niggas, you heard? Like, y'all niggas don't even support the set or nothing, bro. Y'all niggas just be in here trying to see what the fuck going on. If I'm doing worse than I was before. You know what I'm saying? And even some of my mods don't fucking support the set. But it's all good. You know, some of them, I don't, some of the mods that I fuck with. I don't really care about them donating. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, nigga. I don't want to talk to y'all niggas no more, son. You know what I mean? I'm not engaging with y'all niggas no more. I'm not doing that. If you ain't got a wrench or somebody that I recognize off of eye that be supporting my channel, fuck you, nigga. That ass. Suck a dick. And I, I, I'm sorry that I got to move like that, but it is what it is, man. Niggas don't fuck with me, bro. Yo, salute, bro. Mr. Live, man, salute, bro. Niggas don't fuck with me, bro. You know what I mean? It is what it is, bro. Stop coming in here acting like you fuck with me, bro. I don't want to talk to y'all niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, word of mother, son. You know what I mean? If I don't recognize you as a supporter or a wrench on my channel... I don't give a fuck about your opinion no more, bro. I'm not answering shit that you say, whether you a troll or you not a troll. This is how I'm moving now, bro. It is what it is, bro. I can't, you know, you know, um, my shit should be back monetized tomorrow. So I'm just going to um, just run my views up. I don't give a fuck if you fuck with me or if you don't fuck with me, nigga. Um... I'm going to be going hard starting tomorrow. Once my monetization come back on, I'm doing five uploads a motherfucking day. I don't give a fuck if you watch it or if you don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't give a fuck if you watch it or if you don't watch it. Um, you know, I'm going to try to make my money. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you ain't got to stare at me, Michael Ford. You heard? You can get the fuck on. All y'all niggas, none of y'all niggas ain't no supporters, bro. You can get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? All y'all niggas could just get on. I'm blocking all y'all niggas, bro. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm going to have a thousand plus niggas in the block section, bro. I don't want to talk to none of y'all niggas, bro. Y'all niggas be shitting on my channel, nigga, and y'all do it purposely, nigga. Word of mother, ain't no way in hell, son. Two weeks could go by, bro. 
and a nigga getting under five, ten dollars, bro. Like, nah, nigga. Hell no, nigga. Nah, bro. What type of shit is that, bro? Here every day faithfully, nigga, to entertain y'all niggas. I can't even make twenty, thirty dollars, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. I'd rather talk to myself on this bitch. On God, nigga, I'd rather talk to myself, nigga. The fuck out of here, nigga. I'd rather talk to myself, nigga. Word of mother, son. On oh, Jesus Christ sandals, nigga. I'd rather talk to my motherfucking self, bro. On this bitch, bro. Let this be entertaining niggas every single day, nigga. Three, four times a day, nigga, for free, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. I ain't sign up for this shit. I ain't sign up for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't sign up for this shit. Nigga, I signed up to the, I signed up to make money, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. But as soon as my shit come back on tomorrow, hopefully them niggas don't play with my monetization tomorrow. nothing nobody you know what i'm saying yeah he can say all that i slap the shit out that big yo you know how many fake tough niggas i met brolic big brolic niggas like him in the mountains straight pussy on jesus sandals i used to i used to juggle i used to take shit i used to take stuff out of stores like niggas like ten toes I juggle out his store and won't pay him nothing. Word of my mother on everything I love, nigga. I'm, I was one of them niggas. I juggle out a nigga's store and won't pay a nigga nothing. Ten toes. I done did that to him. Word of mother. And had the ox ready. Like, yo, boy, I ain't got it. I done took weed from his big ass and be like, I ain't got it. Word of mother. Anybody that know me know I was a troublemaker, nigga. I ain't care. You know what I'm saying? Word, I did bids messed up. I did bids where I was cool and I was up. But the bids that I was rocking and I was down bad, I was greasing niggas. What? What's up? What you want to do, nigga? I ain't getting no visits. I ain't getting no mail. I ain't getting no money. Nobody ain't coming to see me. But that's the total opposite for you, though. You getting visits. You getting drugs. You getting packages, you getting money, you getting nice visits. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to go blick to blick for me, because I took a, a, a 50 a weed from you, you want to go blick to blick, because I don't care. I'm going to get busy. Win, lose, draw. You dig? I'm going to get busy. Win, lose, draw. I'm going to take you, smoke it, sell something for a couple packs of new points. Probably some food, you know what I'm saying? And 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 I'm ready. I'm gonna suit up and ready to get busy. You know how many soft niggas that nigga size in the mountains? Soft as hell, boy. Word of mother, soft. Don't me one. No action, bro. You know what I'm saying? Big soft nigga. I slap the yo word up, bro. On everything I love. You know why I slap. The Break you up, nigga. Why, nigga? You a bitch, nigga. I break you up, nigga. You took suck my nigga. I break you up, nigga. Little nigga, this big, bro. And you just looking at him like word. That's what you gonna do. You know when I catch you, bro, it's gonna be a bad day in the penitentiary, son. That's all I'm gonna tell you, bro. I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. I'm not gonna argue with you, brother. Whenever I see you in the penitentiary, bro, we gonna see what you about. That's it. That's all I got to say to you, bro. And a nigga keep going in on you. Nigga, smart nigga. You ain't gonna do nothing, nigga. Hold up, nigga. You ain't gonna do nothing. You a bitch, nigga. Eat my nigga with eggs on the tip, nigga. You, you soft, nigga. Yeah, I slap your mother with my nigga. Yeah, nigga, I slap her with the meat, nigga. With the glizzy, nigga. 
Yeah, nigga. Slow neck. I make your mother give me slow neck, nigga. And you can't do nothing about it. He's in a box behind 400 pounds of steel, bro. You and yourself behind 400 pounds of steel, bro. You can't do nothing about it. But take it. You got to take the verbal lashing, bro. Or indulge back in verbal abuse. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of jail dudes is built for the YouTube because it's a bunch of cowardly hearted people on here, bro. And we used to those type of people in prison. Do the whole, oh my god, no, it's me, not you. No, it's you, motherfucker. Here's a list of reasons why. <laughs> I don't do the whole, oh my god. My period, I have a headache. You don't have your period. Do you know if I got my period or not? Oh wow, you definitely have it. That's the attitude that dad talks about. Oh, shit. I have my period, I have a headache. is crazy son <laughs> they just think this is all funny game and joke I don't think it's funny game and joke I know a nigga could do something to me know what I'm saying I know a nigga could do something to me bro know what I'm saying well the mother I know a nigga could do something to me homie you know, I don't be motherfucking be running around like a sweet nigga. You know what I'm saying? I know a nigga can do something to me, bro. These niggas be running around playing. I'm like, all right. And nigga want to go check my block about my resume. My resume is there. So the respect would have been different. You understand what I'm saying? My resume is on the block. It's there. It's cemented in the fucking concrete, nigga. Me, right. So crack, so drugs, chill, broke day, smoke, drink, everything. Guns, what? Robbery, everything. My resume is there on that block. You dig? So. Okay, so ask yourself now, where did that block resume get you? You know what I'm saying? You said robbery. Who really is this individual? Who really is Rayshon Fajan? Why is he living in Ohio? Why did he leave New York? Or why did he get chased out of New York? We're going to unveil and reveal clips, paperwork, people's live testimony, and even including his own family members from his baby mama to his own cousins and his own friends, explaining to us who is Scheme team since 2000, Raheem Fajan. Yes. What's really stopping you from coming back out here, big bro? What's really stopping me money in? What's really. Yo, say what's popping? Yo, what's really stopping me from coming out there is housing money in. I will have nowhere to live. All my family moved to Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Or my family moved to Ohio. I mean, you don't got the resources. Why did Raheem Fajan scheme team leave New York? As you heard the man himself said, he lives in Ohio. Many people doubted that these reports last year when we said scheme lived in Ohio. People denied it, Scheme denied it. What made Scheme finally tell the truth? What made him open up? There are paperwork floating around that people deem to be fake of who Scheme really is, that he never corroborated and told on police officers, that he never took the testimony in court and went against the grain and, and dropped the rights to plead the fifth in other words he actually went in there and sung like barry gordy working for a record deal yes ladies and gentlemen scheme team told in court although it was not on gangsters 
he still told on a couple of police officers slash co-ops and slash enemies many people he's told on and we're gonna go through these series of clips and articles and proof the receipts ladies and gentlemen and that's what you guys are waiting for this Fajan Rahim whatever you call him character goes bro I'm about to drop my I'm about to I'm about to put the, the stream yard up I want you to pull up though bro I was trying to pull up on your shit and I was in I was in traffic though yeah happy holidays bro hey yo so nah so what it is is shout out to my bro I smoke hip-hop see I pulled up on I pulled up on um on, on, on hood TMZ he be body and ski calling tail hornade <laughs> My boy go dumb. He go he go classroom dumb, bro. Yo, he called Tay a whore. <laughs> this nigga scheme was lying, saying he was in he was just in New York last summer. So he telling motherfuckers he going he going to strike them. He going to get. You can honestly see the level of hate and visceral that they have for scheme now majority of the people you see i put on the video i didn't just take any commenters i took the main key people who started with me when we watched scheme and the people who ended up staying now these people look at this karma these are the same people who are loving scheme his struggle stories his goon behavior now not so much over the time people have got tired people have got worry it's the same rhetoric over and over he's a goon he's a killer he's this he's that people do not care anymore and check out this other clip that's disturbing of scheme this is him breaking down this is when you really know the end is near for his channel and maybe even his life that's correct ladies and gentlemen he is a danger Yo, ah, uh, man, nah, uh, so I'm done with this shit. Y'all gonna see me slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly, bro. Yeah. Slowly, but surely, y'all gonna see me fall back from that shit. Or slowly. Slowly, but surely, y'all gonna see me fall back from that shit. Yo. Yo, Deadly, what up, G's? That's 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 that's, that's let me get a down for now. Let's that, let's let me get a down for now right there, Skin. I bring your dollar back. Oh, I, I wanna buy a beer. That's what she, I'm trying to get a beer. I'm trying to get a beer. It's a down for nine, bro. Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. It's the lady put you in a group home, nigga. So she could smoke Amy's. Yo, fuck you and Stack Bundle, Strobe Light. What you, what, nigga? Fuck you and sh fuck you, nigga. And that nigga Stack Bundles, nigga. Fuck Stack Bundles, nigga. Stack Bundles to my dick, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Stack Bundles to suck my dick, nigga. And I know the nigga that murdered him. What? Fuck you talking about, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga? Fuck you mean, nigga? Suck my dick, nigga. This nigga crazy, nigga? Fuck stack, nigga. Know what I'm saying? Like, dead ass, bro. You know that hat to do you dirty, nigga. He know that hat to do them dirty. I don't know why he playing with the hat like that, bro. You know that hat to do him dirty, bro. He know that shit, bro. Why you playing with the hat like that, bro? You know damn well the hat to do you dirty. Word up, son. Nigga in Florida talking shit about a lie. Boy, you a coward, nigga. 
nigga talking shit about the hat. And that nigga, yo, Lyle Berman do that nigga filthy, bro. Yo, this is why this is why he a coward. Cause everything he's saying about lie and the caption and all that that he talking about lie, he wouldn't say none of that in that nigga presence, bro. He wouldn't say none of that, son. You know what I'm saying? These nigga start do lose out on that 35, nigga. That's the difference between you and me, nigga. I can lose three stacks and not cry about it, bitch ass nigga. I ain't no broke nigga crying about no two fucking hundred dollars. You fucking loser. Get the fuck out of here, man. You're not equal to me, Scheme. Stop. That's part of the reason why you fail with this motherfucking problem. You started hitting, my, you're hitting above your goddamn weight class, my nigga. I'm going to sit up here and call out, call out TV for a fight. Talking about back problems. Nigga, you can't even sit on your motherfucking ass for 30 minutes straight with a, ah, oh, this eye shine on my back. I'm a sciatic. Yeah. Yeah, I need them perks, son. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with them pills, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? What's the fuck, my nigga? You're my back, son. Ah, nigga, you talking about back spasm, nigga, talking about meeting up for fighting? Nigga, you must be crazy, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? Are you for real, Scheme? How you talking about sciatic nerve damage, nigga? You crying about a job at Home Depot, but you talking about meeting up the scrap? Nigga, if you don't sit your motherfucking old ass down, nigga, you moving like Grady from goddamn Sanford and Son, and you only 40 years old, nigga. It's only downhill from here, sir. It's only downhill from here, bro. And you know that, bro. That's why you're so fucking mad, nigga. That's why you stay crying on your goddamn streams and shit, nigga. You fail because niggas ain't trying to tune in to hear you whining and bitching about your life, nigga. Hit the like, man. I'm about to, I'm about to hey, I'm going to say what y'all been wanting to say. Come on. Let me do it. Let me do it. Talking about get me money. I need money. But you talking to people that get up every fucking day and go to work, bitch ass nigga, but you whining about just now getting a damn job. You in your fucking 40s, nigga, and you just now getting productive, nigga, but you talking to people that have been productive all our fucking lives, you sorry ass motherfucking sorry excuse for a New York nigga. You want to know why Math Hoffa ain't reached out to you, nigga? Math doing shit. Niggas ain't trying to be a source. Woo, hit the like button. What do they say? If you want to know who somebody is, look at their friends. Nigga, ain't nobody trying to be friends with you, bitch ass nigga. Because you's a sorry motherfucking stinking ass motherfucking dust bucket ass nigga. Nigga, this is why you fucking failed, bro. Yeah, shout out to the Puerto Ricans, the Hispanics. What's up, y'all? Now, I tell y'all the truth, too. Now, I, I, I don't just tell the truth to black folks, white folks. So, But it's out of respect. But shout out to the Hispanics. All right, let me get this nigga up out of here. Nigga suck it, mad dick. Yo, Jazzy, man, sh shut the fuck up, too, man. You a troll, too, man. Shut the fuck up, man. Word up, man. Dick sucking ass motherfuckers, man. All right, the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas, man? A fucking life, man. I'm really serious, bro. I hope somebody kills some of y'all niggas, bro. Word, I hope you die, son. Like, I'm so serious, bro. I hope some of you niggas die, bro. Like, I'm so serious, bro. I hope somebody murdered one of you niggas, homie. Brutally, you, your kids, your mother. I hope somebody brutally murders some of you niggas, homie. Word of my, everything I love. I'm not even playing, bro. I hope somebody fucking drown all you niggas in a fucking pool, nigga, with your fucking head, yo, with your hands tied behind your fucking back, nigga. Word up, son. Some niggas kill you, your mother, like your whole offspring. Some of y'all niggas' whole offspring need to be killed, nigga. Like y'all niggas' bloodline don't even deserve to fucking live, nigga. Word of mother, son. Word up. Look, the same niggas with these accounts. This nigga got pop 21, pop 22. Nigga, fuck you talking about, nigga. 
Man, suck my dick, Hazel. Word of my mother, nigga. You a bitch still living in the projects, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. You should feel ashamed of yourself, bitch. You gonna die in them pissy hallways, bitch. Fuck you talking about. You ain't even give your kids a better life, bitch. You a loser. You can say whatever you want about me. I don't got no kids, nigga. I can live how I want, nigga. You heard? You got kids. You raised multiple kids in a pissy ass elevators, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Roast infested project, bitch. Fuck you talking about, nigga. You a loser ass parent, bitch. And I bet you your kids live in projects too. Bitch, you a fucking loser, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? None of your kids own houses. None of your mothers own houses. None of y'all niggas ever own the house, nigga. You a fucking bum project, bitch, nigga. That still drinks sweet ass Kool Aid, bitch. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? And I'm not even playing. That bitch really live in the projects, and the guy at 50 years old, nigga. You should feel ashamed in yourself, bitch. You lost that life, nigga. You can say whatever. I still got chance at life, nigga. You got kids, bitch, you heard? And you raised kids in the projects, never got out the projects, nigga. You've been living in a project since 1971, bitch. You should feel ashamed of yourself, nigga. You going to die in them pissy hallways, bitch. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Yeah. You going to die with them old drunk wino niggas, bitch. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Yeah. Dirty ass, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Dirty ass bitch. Fuck you and your kids, bitch. Fuck you. Let me tell you this. Fuck you. Fuck your baby father. And fuck all your kids, nigga. They can suck my dick, bitch. You heard? Word. Yeah, if you still watching, nigga, all oh, suck my dick. Your kids, your mother, your baby father, whoever the fuck you talking about. They can suck my dick, nigga. And I get extremely busy, nigga. What? Yeah, fuck you talking about, nigga. Word, dirty ass bitch, still living up projects, man. Bitch is crazy, homie. Word to my mother. Word to everything I love, bro. This bitch is crazy, homie. Bitch still living up projects. Got the audacity to talk about somebody, homie. You still living in the projects, bitch. Your rent two dollars. Is you fucking shitting me, bitch? You got the nerve to talk about somebody, bitch? Yo, Miss P, my, I'm not even on um StreamYard, Miss P. I'm on regular YouTube, you heard? I'm going to get you up tomorrow, though, Miss P. Tomorrow, let's drop something, Miss Playful, you heard? My mom's do got cancer. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? What the fuck is your point by saying that? Like, what is your point? Like, what is what is your point? Like, I don't understand your point. What is your point? Your bad what? Your bad what? What the fuck is you talking about? Like, what what the fuck is you talking about, bro? Your bad what, nigga? What the fuck is you talking about? Acting like they tough and shit because they know ain't nobody going to see them. You know what I'm saying? But see me, I'm totally different, bro. Anything I say on this YouTube, bro, I say in a nigga face and be ready to kill over it, too. So, you know, difference, man, in this shit, bro. Big difference, bro. Big fucking difference, bro. Trust me, nigga. Anything I say over this internet, I say in a nigga face and be ready to kill over it, nigga. Anything that I say, nigga, I'll put a nigga lights out for that shit. Anything that I say, nigga, I'm ready on all four fronts, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas just be talking. These niggas just be talking and just talking because they fucking can get away with it, bro. But anything, best to believe, son, anything I say out of my mouth, nigga, I'm ready to kill a nigga over it. 
These niggas don't be ready to kill. These niggas just be wanting to talk. Cause they could get away with that shit. Nigga. All them legend. Yes, sir. Know what I'm saying? Ten toes boxing your mans. Know what I'm saying? Ten toes is boxing your mans, bro. Know what I'm saying? You could box me. Hood TMZ is a sucker, homie. I'll punch that nigga into a seizure, bro. I'm not even playing with that nigga. You heard? I'd, I'd be a body. My mom's dude got cancer. The fuck is you talking? Acting like they t no. You know what I regret, though, bro? I'm on my gears on YouTube, bro. I regret letting niggas get me out of my, out of my zone. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why I fucked up at. You heard? Like, that's what I regret, bro. I, I regret, you know, not having no experience. I regret, you know, not um doing my homework. You know what I mean? Doing my due diligence. I, I You know, I regret not doing my homework on a, you know, on an actual app that I was getting into i didn't know nothing about this shit bro to be real bro i learned everything through trial and error and by that time it was over you know what i'm saying you know what i mean tom tom stamp is uh 12 minutes he start talking about you at 12 minutes and now you go check it go to 12 minutes he talking about you now you responding you know what i'm saying so it's like you know i let these niggas drag me out of my position bro you know what i'm saying and that's the most regretful shit, you know, that I, that I regret being on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Is that when I was going up, niggas think I was going up and they ain't like. Yeah, man. I'm gonna fight no TMZ. Nigga punch that nigga into a coma, bro. I let I let God handle that nigga, you heard? I let the higher power handle that stupid nigga, you heard? Word up. Definitely after that nigga play by my bombs, I let the higher power take that stupid nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got sickle, whatever that nigga got over there. Seizures. I let the higher power deal with that nigga, you heard? But the rest of these niggas, though, I cook these niggas, though. Being that boy got seizures, I don't even see him as a threat. Like nothing, you know what I mean? Just being real, bro. No. They can't even make a dub on this shit, man. What the fuck I look like this? Keep coming on this shit, man. Once I get my, once I get in position, nigga, fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't bring me nothing but turmoil you and headaches, nigga. Headaches, turmoil you, beefing with a bunch of bitch ass niggas that I don't even. That's, 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 that's let me get a dime for a nine. That, that's, that's let me get a dime for nine right there, Skin.